the hell is going on? I might need to close this down, John. That's what happens when you don't clean your kitchen. You get a grease fire like this. Need to starve it of oxygen. Salt. Give me a salt. A lot of salt. Go dump it. Come on, guys. It's getting worse. You guys ready? Let's do it. Sure. OK, you're accountable? Yes, sir. You got backup? Yes, sir. OK, put some vitamin. All right. What's up, y'all? Ready or what? Yeah. Let's do this. Come on in. Ready? Nope. Right this way. Thanks for coming out, y'all. Hey, guys. So we got some drinks. Uh, two hey. black lemonades. Two black lemonades? Got it. What are you doing? Two black lemonades. Why are you putting it in there? What do you always make oh, it in first? Yes. Did you just put it in the exact same tin that I told you not to put it in? Yes. Pour them out and do it again. OK. Yesterday was Miles and Henry. Today, it's all these guys. First ticket in. Let's get this started. OG grilled cheese, smash patty grilled cheese. It's cheese, cheese. Could be making quite a few drinks at once here. It's a little slow. A little slow. I mean, it took like 15 minutes to get our first drink. I mean, everyone was pissed for the most part from what I could see from people around me. So how many have already got a drink? Raise your hands. Who doesn't have one? Oh, come on. Who's working this side? We're not a hit yet. This band is still rehearsing. And the fact of the matter is, Miles isn't acting like a leader yet. Hey, Miles, I need to know where these four skeleton keys are going. Where is Miles? So what do you think you could be doing now to help? I'm the runner right now. OK, so just give them the order. I got 11 black lemonades all day. It's the most orders we got in all week. What's up? It's my count. Dump them and do it again. Yes, ma'am. This is the first grilled cheese sandwich that's going out, and it's not going out because it's not done. Yeah. I've never sweated so hard over grilled cheese sandwiches in my life. Well, that's what happens when we don't care for the grill in the first place. So no food's gone out at all yet. OK. Wow. John walks in, grilled cheese sandwiches are not good. Either they're burnt or not cooked enough. It's due to the neglect of just not taking care of this place correctly in the first place. Who needs a black lemonade? Oh, I just did it again. Who over here had black lemonade? Anybody order black lemonade? Come on, girl. Let's get these guys some drinks. They're thirsty. I'm slow. Move a little bit faster here. I, I understood I had weaknesses, but we were way too packed for me to be as slow as I was. Who doesn't have drinks? None of you guys do. Who's thirsty? <laughs> Who has money? <laughs> yes, get the money. Get the money. All right, I'm sorry. Can I get you anything else? All right. Here you go. Instead of taking a drink somebody sipped and didn't like and bringing it back to the bar, Miles gave it to another customer. So another customer got a drink that another customer had already taken a sip out of. That's being completely uninformed and ignorant. But you can't take a drink from one person to give it to another. I'm sorry. I knew I was the wrong decision to make, and I did it anyway. You got caught in that, God damn it. Then uh, I should have known better. For sure, that was a huge mistake. Look at this. Yeah, I know. Cheese ain't even melted. So we have a problem. OK. The grill, because it's so dirty, is getting too hot. So either we can't melt the cheese or we burn the bread. OK. Yeah. So we got to close the kitchen down. We got to get this clean this afternoon. Cut the sandwiches, start cleaning the grill. We're done. We're done, guys. We can't do it. This grill is so dirty in the kitchen that we can't even clean it enough to cook a grilled cheese sandwich. If you are planning on ordering food, we're shutting the kitchen down. <laughs> Like that didn't feel good. You know, I think they were upset. Everything was kind of a little chaotic. People were stressed, and uh, we just did not have enough glasses at all. Henry, you're gonna scrape the shit out of that sucker, right? When I first got here, I wasn't sure if Henry even cared enough to fight for his own business. Today, I'm convinced he is. Hey, I'm gonna need some glassware. I need, I need more glassware. We're out of glassware. So you don't have enough glasses for we don't a full have enough room. Glasses, no. Sorry, folks, we're out of glasses. <laughs> Don't tell me. And I got a feeling none of you are going to have a drink because you got to give up your glass for you to get a drink. The bar is now in a complete shutdown because we have no glasses. I'd like to continue the stress test, but I can't. Guys, you got to get your together here. You got to focus on your business. I'm opening this bar. Go to the front door, invite people in, do the best you can. 
Everybody, come on in. Yay. How's everybody? Hello, how are you doing? Hi, guys. Hi. Can I have your Texas tea? Of course, baby. Ounce and a half. Five, six, stop, stop. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's got to get food over here, guys. Don't forget. Uh, order, you have a choice of slider or tacos? I'll do the sliders. I need 12 brisket sliders ASAP. It's not iced all the way to the top. I, I, did, I did ice it. I did no, ice but it. you didn't all the way to the top. It's watering down their drink before you even do it. OK, we got we food go. going out? Okay. Yes, yes, sir. We, got if we could do volume like this, would you stay open an extra hour or two a night? We, so we got to promote food more in there, and then you're happy to sell it. That's right. We'll be here to take care of it. Yep. Barbecue is an amazingly simple food. It's pre-cooked. It's just help. Slice it and serve it. It can come out of the kitchen in three to four minutes. It's a great bar food. It goes great with a beer. Now we have the kitchen. We have the ability to get food out quickly. And when anybody orders food, they also order a drink. OK, on my way with sliders. Coming through, coming through. That's a 10 count. Well, what are you doing? No, that no, not... that was a, not a 6 count. That was a 10 count. That's over serving <laughs> on the bar top, never in the ice bin. You put everything I back hate... where you pick it up. You're making a mess. Everything goes back in its place so that it's there when you reach for it. This is chaos. There's no organization. There's no mise en place. The overpours are out of control. She's not thinking through her cocktail recipes. I need a lot more time. My brain is like on overload. I did that really OK. Should I wait for those or do I run? You can wait. See how quick this food is, right, Freddie? No. 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 Sorry. Coming through, coming through. I'm missing some. I've never seen chaos like this before. Honestly, it's incredible. It really is. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. Stress test is literally going horrible, as you can see. It's boring now. Honestly, you want to go home and get the hell out of this place. And um, did you guys get a or cash? Cash? Freddie, I need fives desperately. I know you I have some. I don't want You're going to pay cash or card? I need somebody to run to the store and get me fives. Well, tell your staff. This is on you. Sorry about the, all the ones. I need change. I, need I don't have a car. I want you to help me do something. Sure. I don't believe they have enough money in their cash register to run this bar. Here's a $100 bill. Mm -hmm. Order one drink and pay with that $100 bill. That one cocktail should drain their entire bank. That's what happens when a manager doesn't get the money they need to operate their business. What can I get for you, baby? Six twenty-five, baby. Out of 100. 9425. I'm out of points. Walking next door. I have to go next door for change. How much change do we have in the drawer? Are we out of money? Um, can you open it? We have no ones. We have no ones. The next person who orders a drink takes the whole damn place down. How do you run a business like this? Listen, folks, we can't do this. Shut it down. There's no way we can tr do transactions here. This is unbelievable. Come back in two nights. We'll show you how this is done. Tonight is the first night I get to see these bartenders and Heather actually work. Last night was party mode. Now it's stress test time. OK, you feeling good? Yes, sir. Thank yes, you. Sir. Great vitamin. Last night, I walked out because Heather wasn't serious about this. She has a lot to learn to make this bar work. Hi, guys. How y'all doing tonight? Hey, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Heather and Howard need to function like partners. I'm a little apprehensive about the state of this bar, but I need to know what I'm dealing with. What can I get for y'all? These are the drinks that we have right there. OK, so two spiced pineapple, one crown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, ladies, go, 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 go. What are you making? The spice pineapple. Anybody else want a spice pineapple? Woo! Okay, make three, make four. You see how I'm doing this? Who else wants one? No. Which one do you need? Which one do you need? No. No. I don't know what to say. Okay, they're right back over here. Okay. So one of y'all save crowns over here. Last night, Heather was partying. Tonight, she's really trying to manage. So there's an effort. Now let's see if the effort causes a result. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. What's going on here? I didn't have enough in there. Taste that. Tell me if that's what we made today. Oh, they're going to go somewhere. Can you take okay, two? Let's go. Uh, yeah. One pineapple. Look at this back of the room. Who's working this side? Are you on uh, this, Howard? Yeah, we're waiting. Let's we're, go. Come on. We've we got to balance right our here. service. So I need two crown peaches. So what are you making? The crown the, peach. 
You making the what? Thank you. You already caught that. Got to make sure you put the right liquor in there or it's not going to taste like the right drink. I feel like a hot mess right now, like show. It was a living nightmare, pretty much. Hey, guys, just so you know, these are first, and then this is the newest, OK? OK. John, look at this. All these tickets right here, quote unquote service bar tickets. So, Heather. Yes, sir. Manage. Look at that. Let's go. We'll get all those tickets. Get your okay, girls yeah. out of the weeds. What would right. you do as an yeah. owner? No space right here. Oh, my god. I need one, two, I need two crown peaches. Heather? Heather. Like four or five in a row? Heather. Yes, sir. What are you doing? Making more pineapples. How do you make those? Do we make you them? make them like this. We only have one bill drink. You got to shake them. It's going to taste like I'm not sure if we're getting closer or farther. Honestly, before the start of stress test, there was a moment there where I had some confidence. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I really thought we might actually pull this out. No, you do not do that ever. What you nope. Doing? It's complete chaos. We completely unraveled. Look at this. If Phil isn't standing next to Heather, we don't get any drinks out. They're blowing it already. We're 10 minutes in, and 10 minutes out, it's only going to be worse. Can we close that now? Oh, no, 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 no. This, whenever you guys are done, I'll just oh, I'll stretch a tap. OK. Look at this, John. One big cut right here in the center of the bar. And they're just all funneled right into one spot. This needs to be fixed. We need yeah. to change this around. You got it, B? You got his crown peach? Yes. OK. Have any of you guys paid for these? So you have no credit card or anything, right? I don't think anybody in this whole bar has paid for anything. So Howard, I just got to ask you a question. Yes, sir. And I'd like everybody to listen for a second, especially you, Heather. Why are we here today? What is our purpose? To make what? Money. Money. So have you guys paid for your drinks? No. Have you guys paid for your drinks? No. Did they take your money? Did they take your money? So anybody who got a drink who didn't pay for it, raise your hand. Heather, look around the room. You're not collecting any fucking money. What are we doing here? Heather, somebody answer me. To make money and to make drinks fast and collect everybody's money. <laughs> OK, y'all two do this. I'm going to start making sure everybody pays. Over 100 bar rescues, and I'm still blown away. Guys, look at this place. Tickets freaking everywhere. Heather, is this getting better? I feel like if you give us maybe 30 more minutes, we can. Who the hell wants to wait? No. OK. We failed. Close this frickin' bar, because this is ridiculous. And we only become more of a mess by the minute. All right. Joey, hand me that bottle. We didn't get a chance to train, but I'm still going to be evaluating. Hustle guys, get ready. It's their own fault. I would just set up my wells, guys, and then I would double up on it. Yep, yep. Can yeah. I take these off of here? Or yeah. Okay. We open in 10 minutes, OK? OK. Yeah. We'll blow with fire and stuff. So let's just not make that happen, OK? Everybody underneath this roof is going to be safe. Cool. Talking yeah. wrong, man. I want this bar to feel the pressure. So I have a big local crowd from Council Bluffs coming tonight. A huge night for O-Face. We're excited to be here. I'm ready for a big night. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's get some drinks. I want to see how Dave and Sarissa work when they're sober. But most important, I want to see if Karen can lead with a good attitude. We need shots, baby. What can I get for you? A boiler maker. OK. Yeah, you're all young as <laughs> man. Yeah, all right, guys. I'm supposed to be back there. I'm coming down here with you. Can't see how to work by day. We're a full busy oh, You got to handle it. <laughs> What'd you do there, brother? How much did you shake it? <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. I dump it, start all over again. <laughs> Yes, I'm you, good. When you're done, if you can make her the 10 shots so Vanessa doesn't have to. Yes, I sure awesome. will. Okay. I know. I'm trying. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know why they're having me do it. Oh, no. Down the drain. Sat down, had to wait a while, sent my friend up there to go get it, and we're still waiting. These people, these women, they've been okay. sitting at this bar for a half hour, right there in the front. And this is your job as managers to get these people together and faster. And we have to accomplish okay. this in the next 24 hours, or we're screwed. Okay. Screwed. Two pepperoni pizzas. Two of everything and two pepperoni pizzas. So they're basic big box store pizzas. Yeah. And, and I, how long do they take? 
about 10 to 12 minutes with four pizzas gotcha. each. And then you'll slice them and send yep. them out. Let me ask you a question, man to man. Yep. What's wrong with Karen's attitude tonight? She's still pissed off. I think she's really frustrated right now. I know she's going to pick it up. If she smiled, it would make a big difference. It would. It would make a huge difference. It'd mean more of the clientele as well. Say something to her. I will. So how long have we been open? 40 minutes. How many cocktails have we got now? Six in 40 minutes. Are you guys cooking pizza for these two? Yes. I have. There are two pepperonis in right now. It's frustrating. I'm getting frustrated. I know you are too. Uh, we just got to keep smiling and keeping these customers happy. Uh, they're going to love the product. We've been here over an hour, and we still haven't got a pizza yet. Joe, two pizzas just fell off the back. Oh! Hey, he's breaking glass right over there. I'll tell you guys, have broken all your mixing glasses besides two. You got two mixing glasses, two bartenders. There you go. All right. So I need two more pepperoni on the fly. They've been waiting an hour for a pizza, these two. OK, let me go check on that. Say something to them. Smile. Say I something will. to them. I'm going to check on it for you. Serve them. I mean, do you not want to be here? No, I, already, I just talked to them a few minutes ago with their pizza, said so I was going to okay. check on it, and I told them. Tonight, I see her attitude. She's working because I'm telling her to. There's no change here. Matt, honey, can you just go get the pizzas? I need to miss. I, I wanted you to make shots. Not... I'm, I'm, I'm trying here. I'm going to do trying. it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No, 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 Let's no see. we got two pepperonis. Two pepperonis? Yeah. I thought you had a pepper, I'm sorry. Straight from the convenience store is what this is. I can't finish the last two pieces. Tastes like <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor, if you smile once, this is the hospitality business. Smile, oh, do this. Right. Come on, Karen, you can do this. I got it. I'm speechless. Dave doesn't know what he's doing. Matt doesn't know this business. He can't hold this place up. Karen's attitude. The attitude's definitely still there. That stubbornness is still there. We're fighting a losing war. Mm -hmm. Keep up the steam, guys. Come on. Uh -huh. Russell, you are not going to believe this. That's your last mixing glass, brother. That's it. We couldn't train, and now we're paying the price. Neither of these bartenders can get drinks out. Matt is trying, but doesn't know what the hell to do. He's burning pizzas in the pizza oven. Karen is back there like this, angry. She spent more time in her office than she did helping one customer tonight. This is a disaster. Finish up your drinks and call it a night. This place is freaking closed. Oh. All right, guys, that's it. No more drinks tonight. We got to close it down. I'm sorry. I just have it down. So I've been waiting for it. Tonight's our stress test. So I have just the right demographic coming. 21 to 34 years old. We open in 10 minutes, guys, OK? Tonight, I want to see if this family can really act like business owners. So I'm going to have Pops coordinate the production between the bar and the kitchen. Diane is going to be managing the floor, and Mike will be supporting in the kitchen. Now we'll see if they can keep it together. We've got a big line out there. Let's open this place, and let's make this work tonight, OK? OK. OK, thank you. Everybody, welcome. Come on in. Let's go, move, move. Oh my God, this is crazy. They're losing pace with everything. There's no organization. It's a struggle. Who's waiting for drinks? Oh my God. Look at this, guys. All of these people don't have drinks. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Susie, get through some of those. Got a lot of thirsty people at the bar, guys. Come on, man, what's going on? I don't understand what you're doing right now. You're burning these burgers. You haven't even got a goddamn plate out yet. All right, got to pick up the pace here, guys. You need to expedite for him. You need to tell him exactly what he's got on. You got it. OK? Because he's already falling behind. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So right now, Zeusie's doing a great job. All right, what else I have here? She's making her drinks really fast, and she's making them perfect. Good job, Susie. good job. Way to use both your arms. together. And now more than half of this room hasn't been served. Table three, chicken wing, right here. 
Pops, help me out here, Pops. Pops is doing everything he can right now. He's getting juices. Dad, can you get more cranberry? Going on the floor. Take it now. Take it now. It's not blowing off at anybody. How you doing? Good? Come on, look around. Let's go. He's not playing, Robert. The last burger came back. Here. Look, Robert. How is that burger medium? It's burning. It's just, it's, it's, Let another one off quickly. Let me get this out. Move, man! I need these orders picked up, Pop. Order up, table six. Table six. Both of these. No problem. Robert. Is that a fire? Turn this sprayer off immediately. We need to pull that off there quickly. There you go, that's it. Now it's off to Susie. Make those drinks six at a time. Let's go. I might need clothes down, John. That's what happens when you don't clean your kitchen. You get a grease fire like this. You need to starve it of oxygen. Salt. Give me a salt. A lot of salt. Go dump it. Come on, guys. It's getting worse. Here we go. Chef, it's inside the vent. We got a problem. One, two, and one, two. There you go. There you go. This is getting worse, guys. Get me a fire extinguisher. This is what happens, Robin. This is your fault. This is what you did. You got to do it. Extinguish it out. Do it. Kill it. You're joking me, aren't you? Fire extinguisher's dead. Your fire extinguisher is dead, for Christ's sakes. Give me that thing quickly. It's gonna flare up! You gotta do it! Make him again. Really, bitch? You know, really? Who needs drinks down here? Yeah. Go, man. Go, buddy. Move, move. Oh. Oh. Brandon and Justin were detrimental to the customers and the business. They were struggling. It's hard working with Brandon back there. He has a hard time concealing his emotions. All right, Justin, finish these up. I'm going to switch you guys, OK? Thank you, man. Two grams together. When it was time for Livio and Jerry to step behind the bar, they really stepped into kind of a chaotic environment. And I was amazed at how they handled it. Livio made the drink, and it's amazing. This is crazy as it's ever been. Wow. Now, as manager, I had to be washing dishes. How do you think these guys are doing? Livio's pretty great. Jerry's also incredibly strong. So our two best is Livio and Jerry? Yep. And, and our two weaker is then Brandon and Justin? Yes. OK, thank you. I agree. Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hey, girl. Hi. Hi. Paul was fine tonight. Let's face it. It wasn't exactly a challenge to stay sober and treat people with dignity. But he did it. So it's a step forward. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. It is. Get I like it. Well, we survived the stress test. You know, you worked your ass off, man. You were behind a bar, right? I can't ask for any more than you did tonight. Paul, you were shaking hands, talking to people, being sober, polite. He's like this every night, guys. You'd be in great shape, right? <laughs> Livio and Jerry, you guys freaking rocked.
Jerry and Livio are amazing bartenders. Um, I hired them a long time ago, so it's a big compliment to me. <laughs> B team is Brandon and Justin. It's gonna be pressure, but it's gonna end. And when it ends, we start to really move forward, okay? I wanna see Sonny run the bar, and I wanna see the staff implement the techniques that we taught them. I also wanna see Oleg support Sonny by helping her manage the kitchen. I wanna welcome you guys to the Six Point Inn. Come on in. We got the crown smash, we have punch, and we also have a traditional screwdriver. Screwdriver. Yes. Breakfast burger and the crown royal smash. Okay. Okay. Four burgers, four biscuits, and gravy. Four burgers? So now I put the hash brown on? No, the burger comes off and it rests. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's gonna be a time consumer. Okay. Damn. At every table, I have a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I'm asking every guest here tonight to leave this at their seat showing me what they thought of tonight's experience. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Remember what we talked about with the shake, OK? Mm -hmm. Like, don't, not just like a regular shake. Like, get, get like a shake. Who still doesn't have drinks? Raise your hands. Look at this, guys. We've been open like 20 minutes. No, there's not enough room. <laughs> Look at the disorganization. There's only one workstation in this bar. We tried to get free lunches. <laughs> We're still waiting on them. We'll see what happens. OK, OK, guys. Keep hustling. Everybody doing good. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Are the burgers coming? It's working on it, boss. It's working on it. He's pretty busy, John. And how many tickets do you have and how much time on these? So oh, my God. You know what? Time. I'm probably about 20 minutes behind. OK, guys, keep going. Keep going, guys. Come on. My smashes. Where are my smashes? I need that smash. Oh, my gosh. Stop yelling. Stop yelling. Sunny is a wreck right now. She's a mess. Okay. All she's doing is running back into the force and yelling. She's yelling, yelling, yelling. She doesn't need to yell. She needs a direct key. It took me forever to get my drink, and I got a Crown Royal smash, and I feel like they forgot the Crown Royal. Yeah. Thumbs down. They only have about 18 glasses left, OK? Half of the place hasn't even been served yet, so I'm curious what's going to happen once these 18 drinks go out. Oh, ice. We need ice. Dad! Ole! Where's Ole? Come on. Right here. Hey. Hey, go across the street. We need ice. We're out of ice. We're running out of glasses. We're running out of uh, mint. We're running out of a lot of stuff. There's no mint? What do you mean there's, there's no mint? There's mint in the walk-in. There's no mint out oh, here. Little heads up would have been nice, guys. Uh, we're definitely not equipped for this kind of packed house. She has plenty of ice. How many glasses over there, Phil? I got six all day. Just, will you go wash the, wash the glasses? I'm washing I'm bringing it. OK, okay. you're in the way. You're in the way, though. I've been waiting a long time to get the drinks. Keep going. I got this. I got this. They need more help behind the bar. Yeah. It's all the burgers. They're killing me, man. They got to be briquettes by now. No, they're not briquettes. They're beautiful. This is beautiful? Yeah, it's well done. It's cooked. It's a real side. burnt. No, this is not burnt. Are you not an idiot? Are you an idiot? Is that burnt or not? No, it's not burnt then you're a moron. Uh, so are you. So we're dealing with a guy who's a fool. Do your job. No, you do your job. You're you not know doing what my job, job is? Yeah. My job is to tell you that <laughs> no, the <laughs> you. I you. You will not you serve this. No. You will not serve No, you know what? No, I'm not going to serve it now because you ruined it. You will not serve no. it. Oh, no, 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 no. You will no. not no. serve it while I'm, I'm here. I'm not going to serve that thing. That's no. the last time you say no to me ever. No. Shut your no. mouth. No, no, no. Get out of my kitchen. Boom, boom, boom. He's burning your food. Tempers everywhere. That's why you're failing. He needs to do better, or he can't be here. Can I talk to him? Of course you can. We have a good opportunity here to make some positive changes. Oh. What we're doing has not been working. You have to step up, and we have to allow other people to help us improve. Ah. Can I hug? Oh, God, I'm going to kill you. All right, so four burgers, four biscuits, gravy. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Around the plate, all over. Yep, perfect. Pull your burger. OK. Get your hash brown on top. OK, pull the burger. On it. That egg is perfect back there. Doing good, Saul. 
Ha-ha! Yes, sir. There we go. And so, so good. It's really good. Burger was good. Thumbs up. Hi, baby. Hello. What do you think? He's rocking it. No attitude, no pushback, just yes, chef. Wow, good for him. Yeah. Did anybody earn your respect in the bar? You know, Sunny, she really started off weak. She didn't know what to do. She stepped up to the plate a little bit, though, John. She's actually trying right now. You do like five punches, you do like five smashes. Just keep on going. All right, Sunny, these three punches are good to go. Thank you. You are awesome. Thank you, honey. Sunny, it's time to regroup and start training and making this place better. Let's shut it down so we can move forward, OK? I want to thank everyone so much for coming out. And I promise you, I'm going to do my best to bring you guys the better part, OK? Sunny got Sal to calm down. She's not micromanaging her employees. And she's working with her dad. I'd say that's progress. Welcome to the Broadway. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Same face, come on. John never got to see me work last night, so I'm super overwhelmed. Look at these different levels here. Uh, counts consistently. Consistency is important. Hopefully I don't screw it up. No need to order food! I want the quesadilla. Quesadilla. That's it, here's our first order. Two house burgers, quesadilla, and a bird. Oh, these things are not coming apart, man. Throw the whole thing on the grill. It'll loosen up. Yes. Oh, Good. Yeah, Tricks of the trade. There you go. Who's next? Two watermelon. Two watermelon. 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 What do you think so far? Going way too slow. Way too slow. This is eight drinks out now for all these people. It's not enough. Let's go. We should serve this entire room in about 10, 12 minutes. Let's do it. Harry right, Wells needs a drink. Right here. Right here. All right. Make four or five of them, Bobby, OK? Four or five at a time. No one at a time. We'll be here all night. Let's go. That does not look great. There you go. Right now, I'm busy. I'm a little overwhelmed. Never had to make this many drinks at once. The way away is Look at the different levels here. How much is in here? How much is in here? Start these over. How we doing? Oh, we're doing. Chicken's going good. Chicken's working for us. The burger, not so much. And because of the chaos, the quesadillas haven't even gotten down yet. So the burger's going to be the problem in this situation. So what are we yes. selling the most of so far? The chicken. It's the chicken. It's the chicken. That's what I thought. The burgers are inhibiting our ability to get food out. It's not the chicken. The chicken goes in the fryer, comes out on the plate, it's gone. We need to streamline these operations and put a bigger focus on the chicken and less of a focus on the burgers. That'll ease our production problems. How we doing? We're getting closer! Yeah. Okay, food's coming out soon. Sarah, let's crank. How many are you making? Five. Five? Well, she can't do any better than that, can she? Oh, yeah, oh, she's doing awesome. There's just not enough room in here right this second. How many tickets we got? Talk to me, guys. <laughs> and those aren't up on the board yet. No, these haven't made it to the board yet. And I got eight more just in this stack of quesadillas. Because it's all this other burger stuff right. that's getting in the way of the chicken that everybody's really enjoying. You have an entry-level cook getting bombarded. A hundred people come in here at one time and ordering like crazy, and that's what's going on right now. They're getting smashed. Oh, okay, shit. we're getting that's slammed. Water, Get yeah. food out, guys. Talks. Work at them. Come on. I'm very stressed right now. It's just intense. It really is. I've never made this much food before. Who's ordered food and hasn't gotten it? Wow, who's taking food orders, Patty? Yep. Where's Patty? I need Patty. Where's Patty? Come on in. Order down here. Okay. Can you help me? Yeah, and I'll go behind you. I go, girl, go. I think I got everyone's orders. Like, nobody's yelling at me, and it's going good. Yeah. Catching up now? Sorry, you guys. Get in there, yeah. Let's cheer on Sarah. Come on, let's cheer on. Have a smile. There we go. This was busy. This is exactly what I needed. So I feel way more confident. Give me an update. The burgers are just completely screwing the system up. 
So we could have 20, 25 orders of chicken out by now. We didn't have the freaking burgers cooking. Bars are all about systems. Even preparing a hamburger is a system. Do you toast the bun first or cook the patty first? When do you take the plate out? Is it before you cook the burger? What about the garnish? When is that put on? If you don't have a system to get the order out of the kitchen properly, no matter how good the food is, no matter how good the employees are, the systems will cause failure every time. We have to shut this down. We have no choice. We've seen what we need to see, haven't we? Oh, yeah. I got to start remodeling this place, right. okay? Yes. Okay, you want to go behind the bar, thank everybody, yeah. tell them we're shutting it down to go to work, invite them all back in two nights, okay? All right, we'll do. Everybody? We got to shut it down. Oh. Hey! I don't know! Come back in two days! So, so am I not cooking this burger? You're done. Sorry. I love you to death, but you got to go. We're getting 86? Of course, you know I'm 86 and you girl. Oh, Let's all come on over for a second and talk. Come on over, Mike. I'm actually impressed so far. Think of what we accomplished today. You see Patty really stepping up tonight, don't you? I did. The door is open to really fix this partnership, isn't it? Sarah, you guys have sort of a reconciliation. Correct. Without the animosity and the resentment, now you have every reason to work together. Correct. Mike, these are big steps forward, aren't they? Yes, sir. Correct. Now we need the knowledge. Right. You with me? Mm-hmm. So I put some money on the line, because when they don't serve, none of us make money. If they can serve this entire room in 20 minutes, Robert and Ashley have proven to me that they can communicate, rein this staff in, and be successful. Hello, everyone. Okay, so set those up, set a stack. I hope you enjoy some of the changes that we made. Come on in. Okay, girls, it's started. Let's go. Yeah. All right. How are you doing? That's our menu for today, okay? Hi. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Good. My name is Mariah. I'm taking care of you. Uh, Hi. Moonshine. All right, so two moonshines coming up. Go, 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 go. One wing, one catfish fire. Yeah, I need another, I need another hoagie bun. Get this room served. I was really overthinking before all these people came in here. Steal and steal. But I knew I could do it. I knew my team could do it as long as we came up with a game plan. Who doesn't have a drink? Come on, 20 minutes, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is going inside here. You're making two, yeah? Yes. You have to smash that inside the pint. I want to make sure these cocktails are too spec. And just overall, everything's Look, consistent. Yes. How are you? Spirit last. This is this is All right, so you want to do that and build it inside here, remember? I'm going to build it inside. Build inside that. Order. When I got here, the biggest problem was Robert and Ashley's inability to control their staff. But if they don't control their staff, they will never be successful. How are we doing? The bartenders seem like they're struggling a little bit. Ceiling at the bar. As well as the servers. So catfish, wait, yeah. Catfish, I yeah. messed up. Catfish, what did you say? No, no, wings. Can you help me out? You still, yes, I am. Let's do it. Margarita, moonshine. No, no, no water. Oh, my god. What are you making? Sweet chicken onions. Oh, OK, great. I need uh, make two of those. When you lay it down there, just lay it down flat. It's going to stick on there and then flip it back over. Who wants some catfish? Yeah. I'm going to buy the next five people catfish on me. Catfish. Ashley, would you be fine, kind enough to take the orders for me? One, two, three, four, five. John decided to buy some food on him, completely flooded us. Give me some more catfish in there, please. It made a big difference to have Robert helping us out, because he was actually doing the work with us. Robert, when was the last time we did this kind of volume back here? Oh, man, at, at this pace? But yeah, never. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Everybody, margarita. Nine minutes left, guys, and your money starts going up in smoke. Nine minutes, get this room served. The $100 challenge motivated us a whole lot. It was a fire under everybody's ass. Go, 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 go. Front of the house, back of the house, servers, bartenders, we all had to work together to get that money. All right, you guys, make sure you're checking back with your customers to see if they like their drink. Ashley and Robert actually were the best that I ever seen in Boston. Michaela, where would you like your Diana orders? Right here. Time, chef. 
Four minutes to get the next three orders out. Wow, guys, you might pull this off. Hey, we gonna pull it off. Yeah, pull it off, yeah. pull it off baby, let's go. You already made the margarita? Yes, the margarita's already out. And you're making this right here? Making that now. At the same time? Same time. All right, good job. Come on, guys. Fire. Who else needs a cocktail here? Get these gals, they need cocktails. What up? I heard the bell going out, bell going out. Sounded good to me, they had my food out on time. I am. My fish is not crispy. It ain't crispy. When a bar's moving this quickly, management must watch what they do. We sent them back, actually, because they weren't crispy. And uh, we asked for extra crispy. If management doesn't know who screwed up, how do they recover? This is supposed to be crispy. Crispy. Can you What's write me a no, please? Yes, I did. What's wrong with uh, it? They want it crispier? Yeah. I think crispy. OK? The two with cheese, that's your crispy. Go, 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 go. How's the cocktails, guys? Cocktails are good? Cocktails. Cheers. <laughs> Who still doesn't have a drink? Everybody in this room has a drink. Yeah. Last night, these bartenders couldn't even talk. They were so drunk. Tonight, they made it. They served the entire room in 20 minutes, made themselves $100, and they proved that when they're sober and they're trained, they will step up. Now the kitchen is hanging by a thread. They might lose their 100 on one ticket. Guys, the bar cleaned their room already. They succeeded. They won their money. Don't let them show you up. Don't let them show you up. Never, never, never that. Oh, y'all, what we got, what we got? Make sure we have two crispy fish coming out. Got some cheese next. You got the cheese here. Let's go. Let's go. Just making this. Boom. Order up. Let's get it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, man. Oh, man. Robert. Oh, man. Thank you so much. We got something to be proud of, don't we? Yes, sir. Food to be proud of. Food to be right, proud. a clean yes, kitchen. Look, an engaged owner standing right. by us cooking. <laughs> How you feeling, Robert? Very proud of you guys. Y'all earned it. Y'all earned it, man. I couldn't be more proud of Robert and Ashley. They proved that when you step up and lead, everybody wins. Tonight, I didn't shut this down. Tonight, you guys shut it down. That's right, baby. The bar business is about maximizing sales and minimizing waste. If we dump a drink down a drain because it isn't right, that drink costs us about four dollars, right? Yeah. Yes. So I have a pocket full of silver dollars. I'm going to take four of these dollars and I'm going to put them in the middle of that red pool table over there. I want us to see the waste as oh, it happens no. during the night. I'm really nervous for stress tests, but this family means a lot to me, so I'm going to crush it tonight. Once we see where we're at, we'll know what we need to fix. Mike, you with me? Yeah. I want to see how Mike Jr. performs under pressure. More importantly, his father needs to see how he deals with the pressure. Does he step up? Is he a problem solver? Should he own this bar? All of that will come out of the stress that happens tonight. All righty, let's do this. Let him in. Hey, here we go. Showtime. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome to the Silver Dollar. Come on in. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, hustle, bustle, let's go. Let's get those orders in. One of Tom Collins. One of Tom Collins? Here okay. we go, guys. Work her hard, OK? And then a Tom Collins, right? Yeah. OK, where's the vodka? Should be right there, right? No, I got the gym. Oh, it's right here. No! Damn, you gotta move quicker than that, though, mama, because those drinks are dying. Yes! Okay. Oh my god. Restart. Crazy, oh my god. John, we already have two. Two wasted? Two wasted. Four dollars each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, ladies, you guys got this. Come on, no waste. And I can tell you right now that this is actually short. So these are three done. John, three more. Three more down the drain? Three more down. 
four. Five, right, more six, people are coming in, and half the people don't have cocktails, so let's push it up. We got to hustle out. Come on, ladies. We got this. Okay, come on, guys. Who still doesn't have drinks? Look around. Come on. That whole side isn't served. What's going on down there? There's three? Two bucks for martini. Oh my God. John, 12 more. 12 more. How do you guys think they're doing? Not so good, right? Yeah, that's it, buddy. We're not going to go much longer. They're losing as much money as we're making. We have more people coming through. Oh my God. I don't have glasses. Mike, what are you doing glassware? I need glasses. I need you to go and grab, grab the glasses from the other room. What, what, which glasses? Whatever glasses you can grab. Okay, got it. Coming through. Coming through. Look at this. Mike Sr. is running in the back getting glasses from Mike Jr. Mike asks for help. Dad steps in. Mike Jr. is taking control. Mike Sr. is supporting his son. That's the way it should be. Boom, we got three going out here. We have two going out here. Bro, you guys are looking good. Keep on coming. OK, we're going to make 16 right now. I'm going to make 16 Tom Collins. I feel really proud right now. It was exciting to see the crowd. I felt fine with John next to me because at least I knew that I was doing that I was doing it right. This stuff is what a great bar is all about. <laughs> Screaming, interaction, connection with people. This is a bar that works. If we can just get everything right around it, it'll be a home run. Mike, I want to show you something. Can you come with me for a minute? Yeah. I'm out of silver dollars. There's almost 50 there. Wow. Now we're making new drinks. And I get that. They don't know them on the inside out, but I'm going to tell you something. You work your ass off tonight. This can get better, can it? Yes, it can. Mike did a good job tonight. He was consistent. He was calm. He focused on process. He got the drinks out. I have no complaints. I'm guessing Dad doesn't either. You impressed me tonight. Yeah, I did. I never saw you stress out or lose control. You were there chop, 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 and working with the girls as a team, and I, I enjoyed that. That really impressed me. Love you, guys. Love you, too, Isan. Proud of you. You guys ready? All right, guys. Come on in. We're open. Have fun. Three drinks you can order from and three things of food, and that's it. A rusty hole, okay. Gentlemen, if you want to look over the menu. Let me get the smoked brisket, please. Okay. We got to order, okay, y'all, let's go. Brisket plate, grab that brisket out of there. Here we go, and this is very realistic. The evening began, people are lined up for food. Now, Tish has barbecue. It's sliced and served. It's pre-ready. That's the beauty of barbecue. She should dig through this line quickly. Now let's hope it happens. What you can do on, on the brisket plate is french fries and mac and cheese. Let's do two of those. Okay. Please and thank you. Alex, what do you think? They just got to get a little more comfortable, get a little more confidence behind the bar, but they got the fun part. That's important. Yeah. They got the heart. That's they got the heart. Here you go, honey. You're welcome. Do you know what you want, dear? I think we're doing great behind the bar tonight, so it was a nice change to see you. <laughs> How are we doing? Fantastic. You happy with the way everything the bar, is going? The bartenders are doing excellent. Yeah, and kitchen served the food the incredibly kitchen. quickly. Yeah, fast as hell. Just, Barbecue just so like quick. Slice and yeah. serve. You can't yeah. beat it. Excellent. Awesome. Order up. Anything I can help you with? Oh, yeah. You can take these three to the three here. OK. Three brand new cocktails. You are probably going to love the Maverick Margarita. Would you like me to do this for you while you guys do everything else? Sure. Thank you so much. All righty. Look at Steve. He hasn't stopped for a second. Oh, I know. I'm not wrong. I know. He's hitting tables. He's hitting the bar. Right. He's going in the kitchen. Right. He's on it. I, I knew he would. So what did everybody say? What are the comments? Oh, they love it. The young people seem to like it. Yeah. Yeah. So, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Nice looking plates there, Tish and Barb. Nice. So what do you think? Great. Good barbecue? Outstanding. I saw it smoking out there. Yeah. 
Steve, so we see where the strengths are. Huh? We see where our weaknesses are. Right. So we see what we need to see. So when you're ready, you can shut it down. I want to start remodeling tonight, buddy. Oh, oh okay. I was a little anxious to get things going. And then once we got into a groove between the bar and the kitchen, everything, everything went so smoothly. It was like one big oiled machine. It was fantastic. We really appreciate you guys coming here. We're going to close the place down because all the construction starts tonight. So thank you guys for coming. We really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you, everybody. You guys all rock. Marty, just so you know, so I've, I've seen everything I need to see. It's one of the best dress tests we've ever had. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming in. How are you? What do you need? Here you go, girl. Good movements. All right. How we doing in here? Any tickets yet? Yes, one ticket. Just one. OK, guys, it's coming, so get ready. Got it. We're going to get nailed in just a few minutes. OK. Three more bar. There you go, honey. Thank you. Lemon. Come on, yum yum. Add ice glass. Build in your drink glass right there. Then you add ice to both glasses. Then you shake. Then you strain. No. How's everybody doing? Everything tasting okay? Steak. I got two orders of wings, another deep fried mushroom, two more orders of wings. Hustle. Yes, sir. Regina, order up. There you go. Don't forget those little things. Yes, sir. Aaliyah is doing OK. She's really risen to the occasion. How we doing, man? What do you think? I think Aaliyah stepped it up and kicking some awesome. ass. She's awesome. What about Scott? Scott's a little slow behind the bar, but you can tell he's got some experience. If he gets that confidence up, he actually worked well as a father and daughter team. Do you need a drink? After the busiest night in Kid Chalene's history, John gathers the staff. We survived our stress test, didn't we? Yes. We had a casualty tonight. Yum yum. <laughs> she was a quitter. The good, you guys. You stayed sober tonight. You were great, Donna. You worked the floor. You interacted with your customers. You were on the ball. I even watched somebody try to buy you a drink. But you didn't go for it, did you? And I'm proud of you for it. Welcome to Barley Pops. Come on in. Welcome to Barley Pops. Let's link some drinks, brother. We only have craft cocktails to offer tonight. What can I get you guys? I'm going to do the ranch version of ginger bourbon. Ginger bourbon? Okay. This, this is a big bar for two, three bartenders, one well. So you guys got to be fast. Load up potato bites. One more over here? All right, coming up. Let's go, Paige. All right, so that's six loaded baked potato sacks. Without Amber and Chris being here, it's slightly more stressful in one sense, but less stressful in another. Definitely a learning experience. So you need chips down. That's not enough oh, chips I'm for sorry, five I'm orders. Sorry. That's not it. enough for five. Okay, here we go. And you weren't here for the initial training. We always build on top of the bar. Stay so here. <laughs> I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, but I can lead by example. I try to do it every time I step back here. And this way you come around? So assembly line, you start in the back here. Page, you go okay. to the left, and then around I this way. Okay, get it. And look, That's you reach over, boom. Okay? okay? Boom, boom. Go, 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 go. Just go, like go, this. Go, go, go. Okay. Wow. Then you're going to come back in green onion. Okay? Okay. Talk to me. How are we doing? You just set up for, for failure to begin with. The, the bar is way too big. They've got one well. They've got three bartenders. They're trying their hardest, but they forgot some of the common sense things, like serving drinks and ringing drinks. Yeah. Who has gotten drinks but hasn't paid for them? 
So we might want to collect some money, guys. So how do you remember who owes you what? I have been starting tabs for people. OK, so show me who hasn't paid. Show me her tab. Uh -oh. Show me her tab. Let's make the tabs. Let's make sure we collect our money, and then you can make more drinks. It's about the money, guys. Have they charged you or started you guys a tab yet? All right, anybody else want to see the moon over here? One, two, three, four. Four all day, all right. There you go, Johnny. There you go. There you go. I'll follow you. You want to follow me? All right. There you go. That's teamwork. I love that. Put money in the register, huh? There's no owners here tonight. And everybody's completely sober here tonight. Yay, yay, yay. And we're working together tonight, right? That's a right? first. We're okay. sober. There you go. Smiles for miles. There you go. OK, you got tabs put up? Yes. I burned you pretty good, huh? Yeah. You still love me? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Folks, we're going to shut this bar down. We got a crew coming in here to start building a new bar. Come back. You guys will see it. Let's get out of here so we can get the crews in here. Stress tests are designed to break you down, but you guys stuck together and worked as a team. We're really proud of you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Paige, I mean, you have a general manager all over your pedigree. Yay, thank you. <laughs> Pairing up with Carrie and being in the kitchen was definitely different. It's not something I'm used to, but being in a high stress situation let me shine. Justin, you impressed me too, buddy. Thank you. You're a natural leader. I beat you up pretty good on the tab. You did. You stood there with me, man. Fixed it. Hi, Ty. Take over the door. Roll in, roll in. Okay. All right, I'm going to start right here. Let's get two uh, sweet, two uh, trombo margaritas. Two trombo margaritas? Is you guys want to order some drinks? Right here with them. OK, talk to me. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm sorry to be away. How can I get y'all? No problem. We have uh, one sweet peach and one trombo margarita. One sweet peach and one trombo. Gotcha. So a sidecar of sugar? I know you want sugar, boo. Onion dip, and then we got hush puppies on deck. Chef, you say four to an order? Yes, sir. You don't look happy. You want another one? Yeah. Which one was that? Sidecar. Sidecar? You can double up. You can make absolutely up to three cocktails in one. Yeah, that kind of, yeah, I got you. Yeah. OK, we can work on that. Yeah, we, yeah, we're going to work on that one. So the gentleman on the second table, it looks like an N on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And the uh, girl next to him both want new drinks. They don't like their sidecars. They say it's not strong enough. Can you handle that for me? Yeah. Ooh. Damn it. Do me a favor and make four more sidecars, but don't use that much of that. They don't, they don't want a lot of the lemon in there. Our customers, I guess it was just a little bit too much with the lemon. So I told them to cut back on the lemon juice, and they enjoyed it a lot better. Guys, look up for just a second. Who still doesn't have a drink? Look around. Who doesn't have a drink? Still, put up your hand so they can see. OK, Dante, come on, guys. Let's catch up. Order up. So what happens? You guys send it up as it comes up, or you send it together? Oh, we got it two things. Yeah, you send it together, bad. right? Hold on. No, no, no. We got the hush puppies. So what's the system here? Is it is it as the food is ready, you send it, or do you wait to do whole tables? We actually send it when it's up, but then um, everything's not ready at one time. Yeah. So. so, but I mean, you have to time it. That's where it yeah. comes in. Otherwise, we're just slamming food. What good is that? All right, we're starting to get hit a little bit. Starting to come in, tickets are coming in, but it's a lack of systems. They're not sure when to send one dish or cook the other dish. It's just, it's a system. Are there table numbers on the tickets? Guys, do we know where every order's going? Just as I suspected, there's no systems in place. They don't have any steps in place. There's no process in place. So it's just a free for all. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see if the right food gets to the right table. Now you're mixing this up. You're doing some of the service tickets too, right? Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm trying to mix it up. Okay. I'm trying to get everybody. 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 Okay. It's like a normal thing. Normally, I'm back there by myself anyway, so it's always stress for me. So I'm a real worker, man. I really try and bust it out and get people, make people happy. So it's just the way I am. These guys, are, you got some good guys in the kitchen. Real good guys. So what's the cost of this, Chef? Maybe 75 cents tops. So we're making money on everything now, right? That's it. And it's just a hush puppy. It's just fried flour. But we elevate it in a way that just perceived value, you know? The flavor. <laughs> Here I go. Dante, did you get those tickets out that we gave you? If you can, make two at a time, three at a time, OK? Dig us out. I've become a pretty big fan of Dante and David. 
Their attitude is great. They're really trying. And with more training, I believe they'll get there. Dante. I got you. Man, guys, Dante, come on, we one sec. I just want to tell you, I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of everything that we did tonight. This was badass. I mean, you know, after after the little meeting we had earlier, when you start running numbers and start clicking in my head, we got to get this shit together. We do, and you freaking did, man. Stepping up is the best thing that we can ever do as men. You step up in those moments, and you guys freaking did, man. You guys did. So let's shut this down. Let's tell everybody good night. I got to start remodeling this place. I want to go to work. Call. You still want me to make these two, right? Yeah, make those two. Give a last call, and let's move on, okay, guys? Attention, please! Hear ye, hear ye! Last call for alcohol! Hi guys, how are you? Hi, guys. Hi welcome, welcome to Badlands. Badlands. Hi everybody. So to train this bar, we're gonna start a stopwatch at 30 minutes. And I want you guys to keep feeding them drinks so that they don't stop at all. I wanna see how many drinks they can put out in 30 minutes. We're setting them up for speed tonight, so let's slam them a little bit. Are you guys ready? We're ready. You got everything you need? All your stations are set? Set up. Okay, who's got the clock, Mia? There it is, right there at 30 minutes. Here we go. Start. All right, guys, let's get some orders in. Let's hey guys, get it going. how are you doing? Good, what can I get for you two tonight? Do you think, Jordan? Stay cool and calm, but fast, buddy. Let's go. Guys, we're more than two minutes in. Have we gotten one drink out? We've got two. Here we go. Okay, so we're on track for one a minute. What's happening over here, my friend? I'm making four of them at once. Oh, Captain Ambitious in the hot corner. Trying, trying. Oh, oh. Oh no. That didn't work. Okay, I see? tried. Very I tried. ambitious. All right, but we're gonna see what happens. Think about what you're doing. Was that iced all the way to the top? No, I don't think so. No. We're 25 minutes. We have one, two, three, four drinks. You gotta dig it up a little fast. You wanna run a one a minute. Jordan, how you doing over there? Uh. And that doesn't sound good. Let's go. I'm behind. One, two, three, four. How's that drink looking, Mia? Oh, careful. Oh. Okay, we got a spill and I am That's the end of that one. Okay. Let's start over. Start over. The, the time keeps ticking and everyone's yelling and they need these drinks, they need multiple cocktails. I, I was fumbly a lot of the time. What's our time, John? 23 minutes, 30 seconds. Hold on, I want to see what's going on here. Just focus, focus. Is that right? No. Dump it out, do it again. All right. You saw the difference in color too, didn't you? Yeah. How are those? Pretty good. Pretty good? Okay. I'll tell you, they're doing much better than I thought they'd do. Travis is pretty darn good. You know, in 12 minutes, he's gotten out of about 16, 17 drinks. So he's running under a drink a minute, which is great. Jordan needs to catch up a little bit. He's running closer to a minute and a half or so a drink. If Jordan can speed up to Travis's pace, we're in pretty good shape. You guys are working right on top of each other. How does a station like this even work, guys, right? Not too well. <laughs> so we're at 15 minutes halfway through. They've served about 25 drinks, so we're really close to one drink per bartender per minute. They're not there yet, but they're close. They gotta push harder. Lives you hustle. Loving this. Okay, 20 minutes down, 10 to go. Let's go, guys. guys. We go, got guys. this. We got now. this. Right, let's see how that pours. No, no. Uh -oh. oh, you're in trouble. Dump them. Do them both again. Let me Gotta watch, watch let me these watch. pours. Mia. Right. Yep. Let's watch Jordan because he just dumped four. Oh, yep. geez. Four is too many to be dumping, honey. Okay, seven minutes, 25 seconds. Let's you got hustle. this. You got this. Yes. Oh, much okay. better. There we go. That's much better. better. That's better. Even too. All right, Jordan, here we go, buddy. Hey. Get Travis, buddy. He's two timing you here. <laughs> he doesn't even look tired yet. <laughs> Oh, no. Hi. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, get those two out, because they're okay, the first two. And remake the second yep. two, right? Yep. We're down to five minutes. Let's see. Let's push these last five minutes. I'm trying to count drinks, guys. How many did you have? We have four. We ordered two more. So six between the two of you? Yes. Great. Thank you. Literally, it's not three. Three. So six between the two of you. Great. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Guys, we're at 54 drinks. 
60 would get us right to the number come we on, need. Come on, come on, Push these on. last two minutes. You got this. Okay, that's 55, 56 right there, Travis. Seven, eight, good. Tequila. One, two, three, four, five, six, One minute left. Four, five, six, seven, One minute, eight. come on, guys, hustle. Two, two, go, go, go. Let's go. Ah! Oh. Michael oh. Adams. Turn it over. Travis, keep going. Get us three drinks, guys. We need three. I hate these gloves. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on. 35 seconds. Come on, Jordan. Oh, let's go, George. You got it. You got it. Yes! Ten seconds. Ah. <laughs> one more. We need one more. It's not open. Ginger beer. <laughs> That's it. We're out of time. Don't put down your pencils. Damn it. Oh, my goodness. Guys, think about this. In 30 minutes, you poured out 59 drinks. And if you think about the ones that we dumped, because of inaccuracy, we poured well over 60. So what did you think of that, everybody? Pretty good, yeah. right? Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. We did what we Thank needed you. to accomplish tonight. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. I worked my ass off. My eyebrows were sweating, and I don't have those sweating usually unless I eat spicy food. I feel like I've improved as a bartender because of this experience, but I still have a lot more to learn. Okay, now listen up. Don't let this go to your head. We have more cocktails to learn tomorrow. Opening night, you gotta know them, guys. We can't have cheat sheets. We don't have the time for that. So this is a good start, but we got a long way to go tomorrow. But good job, I'm proud of you very much. You know, Mia said after training today that these guys were good, and they were. Travis was a machine. Jordan was getting there. He's clumsy. He spills things and drops things every once in a while. But with a lot more training tomorrow, a few more cocktails, physical changes to the bar, this team can do this. Hi, you did. And what can I get started for you? Okay. You want a I got this. Yeah, you guys want some pizza? Yeah. Two meat slices. You got it. Let's taste this. It's too sweet. Let's do it again. Let's by the do it again. Um, how many pizzas does he need to start getting going? I can have him start making. He, I, I don't know. Let's see. Um, it's six per. Oh no, it's four per per uh, pizza. So that's one. Uh, so it's one. So I'm gonna say three cheese, two pepperoni. That sounds good. We're gonna taste this. Does this taste right? No, you guys, we've gotta be quality control. <laughs> okay. This is crunch time. This bar has been open for about 15 minutes and we haven't even served half the room. If these bartenders can't get simple cocktails out like they're making tonight, we're not gonna succeed. Okay, so wait, stop. So where, what the ticket, what ticket are you taking? Because we're gonna end up making it again. Like once I give these pizzas to them and then I give them the ticket, you know. You don't give the guest the ticket. Right. You so take I give the it ticket to and throw it away so we know no, in the no, kitchen that we've already made it. Yeah, but I need to give it, I, they have to pay for the pizza. Yes, I would have rung it in when I had the ticket in my hand. So I should be ringing it in? Of course yes. you should. I didn't know that. <laughs> Who's going to get paid? That's a good question. <laughs> Can you believe that these guys are scientists? So poor Sal just gets thrown in behind the pizza station. John was supposed to help us in the kitchen, but John just made it worse. He had no idea what was going on, no communication, no organization, no clue. Pizza was not making it to the table. All right. Sorry this took so long. Thank you. Go. The pizza actually was good. Uh, it just took a while. We're getting backed up. The pizza's not leaving. These are getting cold. These are getting cold. They need to go out. Those three pizzas over to that table, and you left the tag there. And so you said I would... that we were doing this because we were trying to give them. They had ordered. No, no, no. But, but we took those slices out. No, it... you, did, you didn't take the three pepperonis out. We did. You took them out. Oh. Okay. Perhaps not. I, I, I might we, not we, we, can, we, can, we, can, uh, we can double check. It. This is an incredible rescue. Sometimes their conversations are just astonishing to me. Did they get the pizza or not? It, it was served in two separate orders. But they got it. At this point, I believe they got it. John doesn't think they did. I think no, that's, that's not it. Just go ask them. I think we gave it to them twice. But just go ask them, we guys. Them a meet, As you're talking about it, these are getting cold. Saying. John and Jonathan are book brilliant, but they're common sense ignorant. They can't get a slice of pizza to a table without a 10-minute discussion. They've been sitting for about 15 minutes. Their cash bag has been sitting out in the bar.
the two most serious infractions that a manager can ever do is leave their keys available or leave their money out. Mary left her money behind the bar. I just took it. Let's see how long it takes for her to notice that it's gone. I don't know if I have enough change. Mary, I need quarters on the fly, if you don't mind. Didn't have enough 20s. You need 20s. You need change. 30. I don't know what the quarters are. It was left over here. You leave a money bag sitting on a bar like that. How insane is that? There's two things we never lose, our key ring or our money. Protect that, guys. Learn from this experience. Be glad that I took it. Somebody else didn't. I made a mistake. I mean, I should have put the back somewhere out of sight, out of mind. But I was just overwhelmed at the time. How are you? Good. How are you? How's it going, y'all? But take a menu and whatever you want, we got you. What can I start you guys off with to drink? Oh, this is going to be a good day. We got to move a little bit faster, a little bit faster. First thing, people start coming in tonight, and we're getting slammed immediately. And Chris is just getting really frustrated. Oh, sh my life. That's going to stop him. Chung, I think the people at the end of the bar want to take a food order. Would you do that for me, yeah, the gentleman sure. right at the end of the bar? Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Really is. It's good. You're going to like it. All right. Well, what you like to order? I told Chung to go get a food order. Crab cakes and the oyster. He should be able to take the order, put it in the POS system, and have it properly transacted. I want to see if he can do it. Two orders of rock for me, please. Oh, it's right. Then you want something. Okay. Like? Coconut okay. shrimp. All right, that's it. There's 10 total. Stress ass is going all right, I guess, but I think we definitely need to step up our game even more because we are falling behind. Uh, three. Oysters, four shrimp, and two crab cake. Chris, where are we on these? I think you focus on these, okay? Help your guests get their orders. Oh. If you if you can make their drinks with this, you can oh. do them at the same time. So what do you mean, what is this? I'm not used to having receipts. I mean, what is this? This bar draws a young crowd, a party crowd. They want their drinks quickly. They want their food quickly. The longer they wait, the more of a downer the party becomes and frustration takes over. I, I'm, I'm confused. So I ring them up and then get the receipt. I've never done them like that. How we doing? So did you get an order for 10 items? Yeah. All right, now it's all on one ticket. Yeah. So they dumped you with 10 items on one ticket? Yes. But they're 10 different people. Are they? So I don't know how they're going to figure it out. Chung. Yes. How do they know where this food goes? It's all in on one ticket. Uh, we'll ask them when we. Uh... OK, now, they're going to say, who got the shrimp? I did, I did. We'll see how that goes, but you might want to do separate tickets. Right. So like, where do these where do these go? On what ticket? Uh, I don't know. I've been here nine months. I've never seen a ticket like that to make them. I usually okay, just take orders. I the drink that I got, it's not for right. There you go, guys. We've been sitting here for 30 minutes, and my own friend can't have a drink. That's a problem. Put them on the ticket, because that way she knows where to go. And look at why are you putting this straw in this glass? Chris was making 10 drinks just to make 10 drinks. He didn't even know where they were going. Who has the two oysters? Food pick up. So you got the uh, crab cake and the oysters, right? <laughs> okay, what's your name? Kara. Kara. All those oranges we cut were out? Charlie, you got somebody to run this food? Who's waiting for food or drinks? Get these people served. Close this down. Yes, sir. Guys, we're going to shut this down. Do you agree? Yeah. So come out here, Charlie. Take the freaking heat. It's your failure. I'm sorry, everybody. Come back and see us Saturday. I promise a marked improvement. If there isn't a marked improvement, he won't be here. Free drinks. Yeah, OK. <laughs> What can I get for you? Uh, what kind of beer do you have? 
We got um, American Lager on draft, 225, or bottles in cans. You want American Lager? All right. Those are your options. What would you like? I'll be smoked sausage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like uh, ketchup, mayo, mustard? <laughs> ketchup. Like on? Just ketchup? Yeah. How are we doing? That too, that All right, let's try again. Those are not cold. The ones in the back aren't. That one is. That one is? Yeah, that one is not. That one is. Just like, if we stop warm beer and we don't designate the difference between the warm and the cold, now we're serving mediocre product. So they're putting warm beer in? Yeah, with, with the cold beer, but they, they don't. What they should be doing is rotating it and putting the warms in one and exactly, moving them down. Exactly, exactly. And you just slide them down as you go. It's, it, it, it's not rocket science. J.D., yes. how do they know which beer is warm and which is cold? All these are warm. So how long does it take before she gets to those? Generally on ice, 17 minutes. So, so it doesn't get cold enough. Right. I've been in here a handful of times in over a year, and uh, this is the first time that I've been able to get a lime in my beer. But the downside is, is I only got one cold beer. They ran out before uh, I could get a second one. We can't serve bottles of beer correctly. No. We can't serve draft beer correctly. No. JD, go cut two strings. This bar opened just a few minutes ago, and already we're behind. The two easiest things to do are bottled beer and draft beer. Then this staff has blown both. You know what blows my mind is we talk to these people about serving fast, serving together, working as a team. We've got people here that have been here for 10, 20 minutes, don't have a beer. How long does it take to serve a beer? That's the strength. Who's been waiting still for beers? You guys still all this time. One more string goes. It's a little odd just to see with just beer that they can't turn it a little bit faster. I ordered no onions on mine. Why does he keep putting onions on them? I'm so sorry. I'll yell at Jenny. What happened? Onions. What is this? Excuse me. Order up right there. Everything, no onion. Everything, no onion? Yeah, I can grab those onions off. So which one? Hold up. Which one? So which is? This is the one I already took. I have everything on there. He said everything. All right. But she got one, 200. That's not that oh. one, is it? Orders coming in, man. No system. OK? Different tickets coming back. I mean, one of them said SOS. That was the best one I seen. You know what I mean? Let's okay, go. so where are our tickets? Where do we? Right here. We got a couple right here. OK, so they still, are they numbered? How do we know the we order? Number. I don't even know what that means. So I'm waiting on them to come back. Mine. JD, what is this? Yes. That's one minus onion. One minus onion. Yeah. That, well, Tammy, I'm assuming that's what Tammy wrote. This is one minus onion. Anybody know what this is? Who's writing? Looks like onion. Who's writing? Our initials should be up in the corner. That's what I thought. Oh, that's, a, that's an onion jalapeno. One with just onion jalapeno is what I see. I would just make that. Nope. You're good. I don't. I don't know what the. No, I changed the cake. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. Anything. Okay. Hey, don't stand there. I'll get the burn. This is for orders in mistake and orders out of mistake. So one string. One string left. The staff actually cares that they can't even sell a beer properly. It's chaos. All they know is no onions, but they don't know when no onions on what? No onions, no J, no mayo. So what the f does that mean? I can't believe that a bar that only serves beer could fail this much. Folks, we're going to shut this bar down, because tonight we're going to start remodeling it. So come back in two nights and look at the smile on his face when he's got a new bar with cold beer. No drinks one at a time, guys. Who else wants a margarita? Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Make five of them. Get ahead of it, OK? We literally just opened. In the next 10 minutes, Brad has an opportunity to get ahead of it. He's got to move tonight. If he doesn't, he can't do this. Holy shit. He just stands around like a deer in headlights. Like, what if a party like this actually showed up? Why is he taking food orders or doing something? We might be a minute. 
Oh, okay. I thought he was coming to take her. Uh, nope. Don't really do anything. I really thought he was going to step up and be more involved and be an owner, so it's frustrating for sure. Shit. This is a mess. Who's still waiting to order? Everyone. <laughs> Where's Brad? You want the chicken? Go ahead and figure out how to work this <laughs> damn thing. That's all right. Uh, just Nobody's smother chicken. Dumb. All right, I got that. Talk to you. What's going on? They're trying, which I like, but Brad needs to move faster. Oh, we're in trouble, buddy. Yep, yep. There's a smother chicken. All right, ordering one smother chicken. Tony, somebody's got to get this side of the bar. Brad, this is on you. Get them served. Uh, just because there's so many people at once, you know, and we just can't keep up with it. Right now, I'm just trying to get food out because I can't really order drinks. Uh... So do you guys need to order food? Where's Brad? Brad! And then your smother sauce okay. right over the top. And there you are, one order up. Uh, I need glasses. Yep, yep, yep. Can I tell you guys what's going on? I need a runner. Is there Brad around? Brad, can you run? Where the f is Brad? He's not walking fast. He's not asking He's not questions. Sure he, he doesn't know what to do. And after 20 years, if he doesn't know what to do, then he didn't care enough to learn. Brad, I got your attention here. Yeah. The biggest problem in the kitchen tonight is Brad. He doesn't have systems in place, and he's lost. Two tickets right here. So you got this one here, and this one is these three here. OK, that can run. They're getting cold. Okay. Thank you. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. The wheel just came on. Tony, yes. where does this one go? Very first door to put in. Oh. So the wheel fell off your chair. Brad. That is my hand right, dude. Oh. Oh, shit. Seems like this whole bar is missing a wheel, doesn't it? When an owner knows how to manage a bar, he gets involved in ordering, systems, procedures. When he doesn't know what he's doing, he runs food, because he doesn't know what the hell else to do. Oh, shit, that went to the wrong person. OK, so we can't get these people served. We can't get food out. I can't get the other room served. The food is going to the wrong tables. Where's Brad? Right here. Right here. And your presence takes up space. But honestly, you're not accomplishing a damn thing. That's why you're failing. Holy shit. OK. Hey, everybody. We're closing down. We're going to be closing down. Sorry. I let my daughters down very bad tonight. I tried to prove myself, but I could have done a whole lot better. Everybody, come on in. Yeah. Well, welcome to Linda Liz. Hey, hi, ladies. How are y'all? Oh, my God. The Park Helen Fifth. Flavor Blaster, baby. Flavor Blaster. So if you want some flavor, go ahead and squeeze that right in there. We'll get right to you. They're going to bust their butts tonight. Have you guys ordered yet? Yeah. Okay, don't forget this side, Anthony. Work the whole bar. Don't all stay there. OK, what, what, what can I, we get you? The tequila. The tequila. Move your hand, please. So look what happens with one workstation. To dump his ice, he's got to go over here. To get the mint and garnishes, you got to go over there. To pour it, you got to go over there. Why don't you go over her? I'll go over you, Phil. Come on over on top of it. Let's see if we can play pyramid while we're back here. Come on, this is ridiculous. This bar confines you. It restricts you. There's no room to move. There's no room to work. It can't possibly succeed. Let me get through here. <laughs> How do you work like this? Nobody's ordered over here. Come on, guys. We can't just do one side. Who's got this side? Well, I got them far over okay, here. Okay, Anthony, then claim the side. Be okay. a leader. I'll be with you on that point. Sorry. What are you doing, Anthony? What are you doing? It's feeling like I'm going to run Get it together, brother. Get it together. Come on yes. now, baby. Where's his card 
Yeah, you first order to have one of everything. Yeah, it's it's the, oh, we're all two of everything. everything. Amanda, come here. Amanda, Amanda, yes, I need sir. you right here. Come here now. Trina, I need you to come here right now. Look, look at me. You guys need to communicate, okay? Yes, if you guys, if you're, yeah. if you're well, looking. We, 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 yeah. we got to open. What? what? Oh, I saved it with all the cards that I put here. Okay, Jeffrey, right perfect. There. Sounds good. Friends. So, so communicate yeah. with each other. So there. You guys are not no, even. Not Listening to me. Uh, I'm a little nervous and I feel a little uh, like I should be behind there with them, but I know I'm just in the way. I'm just complicating it by doing that. Where's your garnish? Hold on. We, oh, 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 sh hold on. We got a flood. Brandon, yeah. we got a flood going on. What? Okay, okay, okay. Go. Careful, Phil. That's so when it starts to overflow. <laughs> Where is this coming from? The dish machine? Yes. Down here. We have a plumbing disaster here. Our floor drain overflowed. The floor is so slippery. I'm concerned somebody's going to get hurt. I'm going to shut it down. Shut it down. Let's go to work. Right. Somebody's going to slip and get right, hurt. Everybody, we're shutting it down. Thank you guys so much for coming out. The bar is awful. We had floods on the floor. Nobody can work behind that bar. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Let's get in here and get this going. Yeah. That's what we're serving tonight. We get the Memphis Blues. We get the margarita. How is that? I'm good. We're having a drink. Last night, Brian was so disruptive, I didn't get a chance to really address operations, the bar, or the kitchen. During stress test tonight, I want to see Brian be sober and contributing behind the bar. You want salt on the margarita? That's fine. I want to see Teresa expedite in the kitchen so it's smooth. They hand you food, you just fly it out. I can do that. I want to see good ticket times, and most of all, I want to see Cody step up and be a leader. What do you need help? OK, I'm racking up these tickets here. I'm not sure any tickets have gone out to the floor yet, huh? No. Does anybody have cocktails out there? Oh! We got to get drinks on the floor. You got to, like, start taking some. Where's Cody? Like, can he help you take drinks? Chicken sandwich? Yeah. All right, guys, give me a second. I'll be right back. So you got your food. Okay. It's the wrong food. It's the wrong food. The what wrong did you order? It's supposed to be a chicken and a burger. And this is a burger and a burger. My silverware has just a knife in it and not like a fork. Cody! How did the wrong sandwich get to this table? I'm not entirely sure. So she got the wrong order. There's no freaking fork in a roll up. They still didn't get their drinks. Yes, sir. Fix it. Yes, sir. And comp their check. I can tell you right now, this is raw. Put a little more fire on that. Actually, make a new one. Uh, it wasn't all me right now. I can't thanks for it. Has there been any raw chicken that's gone out? Prevented oh, two. So that you caught two. Up. We send any raw chicken out of this kitchen. I'm telling you guys now, I'm going to go freaking nuts. You hear me? Tonight, they're cooking their own food their own way. They should have gotten it right. Thick had to catch two raw chickens before they left the kitchen. The wrong food's going to the wrong tables. For him, no. Well, then this is his if it's his by himself. Then. Without procedures and organization, the kitchen is completely unraveled. Thick, what is all this? Look at where Dave is putting his cracked eggshells. You're dropping eggshells on the counter. It's going to run down the side of the wall. I don't even know where raw and where cooked product is, for Christ's sakes. Clean this kitchen. Throw that food away. Nobody eats this That's taking it too far. Calm down, David. He ain't did David, you need to calm down. I got to walk outside. Calm down, David. I don't give a who he thinks he is. David, David. Two, two, two seconds. And just breathe. Go listen, I've never let just, any just, man just, talk to me this way. Just listen to me. All right? I just need you to go in. Let's go in. Let's get this place cleaned up. David had a meltdown, and I had to go talk him off a ledge. He was inconsolable for about 10 to 15 minutes and seeing red and think ready to fight. We're going to take it in strides, and we're going to deal with it as we can, OK? All right. I need just talk to me. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to let them down. Yeah, I told him I would do this. I don't want to let them down. I want to live up to my word. That's all a person has in this world is the word. You ready on food? How long now? 40 minutes or so? About 40. How's your sandwich? Oh, I'm eating with my fingers. Like, there's chicken. You never got the fork. Never got the fork. This is one of the worst stress test failures we've ever had. I can't even get a fork to a table. We can't get drinks to a table. Are y'all leaving so soon? Yeah, we're going to head on now. Okay, sorry. We can't get safe food out of the kitchen. Man, that grill's looking wild. We have completely unraveled. These people will sit here for two hours, and they still won't be served. I have to put us out of our misery. This is a complete failure in every way. Do you agree? Yeah. I won't do this to you anymore. I've just shut it down. Come back here in two nights. And we'll show you how to do this right. I feel like my first time having all the authority, I did really just terrible. I felt overwhelmed and 
I feel like I let everybody down. It's not on you, it's on me. It's my fault. The two critical links in a bar is the link between the manager and the employees and the employees and the customers. Lee is the manager. Let's take control tonight. All right. Tonight is all about Lee coming through for his staff so his staff can come through for the customers. All right, guys, welcome to Russell City. Let's go on in. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Tonight, I got a hundred people from an industrial neighborhood. Two blackberries. Pineapple. You want the pineapple? To really check Lee's performance, I'm handing out red penalty cards placed out by Lisa Marie or Aaron. That's the lemon bitters. The rhubarb goes into that one. This business is all about guest satisfaction. If less than a third of the guests say they won't come back, the business is gonna fail. We short forward, which means we gotta start all over. Okay. Mm. So I'm giving out 100 cards tonight. If more than a third of those cards come back, then yes, we're unhappy, and this bar is gonna fail. Have you got a drink yet? Here you go, you just hold up that red card. Ladies, I love you, but we have to move faster. Let me try the giant meatball for us. How we doing? There's a backup here, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Can you imagine if you had your own POS system? Well, it would How much faster you'd be? Yes. We ordered the food truck. There we go. They need some food, Lee. Okay, right, give me one second. One of you guys is definitely gonna have to get food behind the bar. We got. Well, now you left. How the f do you function here? We ignore him. <laughs> What's going on? Um, it's like Lee has never spent a day in a bar in his life. He's going in 10 different directions. These girls are focused. All three of them are over here paying attention to these guests. The table still don't have any drinks. They're just not respecting Lee. Oh, not even a little bit. Got a lot of food, man. Grab somebody out there. So how long have you been waiting for your food? 15 minutes. How long did it take you order it? About 16 minutes. So you're pretty frustrated right now. No, no, definitely. Utensils, utensils. Why are we so backed up in food? Who is not going out? Number 18. Number 18. Why are you always lost? They not putting stuff where it needs to be. Look, number 18. Teach them to do that. Fix it so at least the next one doesn't happen you like that. You guys need to put a number down wherever you guys put a table. We right. did put a number down. A lady walked away from it. Anybody has number 18? 18. We got our order ready. Well, they took three or four numbers that don't exist. So now I'm out here running like a dodo, and there's numbers that don't exist. You run this ship. Yeah. You constantly got to communicate. So you're not looking like a fool, and your servers aren't looking foolish. You're right. Link, I have somebody that needs a meatball sandwich, so I'll take 18 has theirs. OK, I understand it, but I still need a ticket, though. But I need a meatball sandwich, so I'm taking it. Here you go, OK, meatball, right? You go out there, talk to each server, oh. come right back, because you got one card, and I'm about to drive five more, because now we're missing six cards. You know what? Tonight is a crazy night. He has enough cards to hold a poker game right now. I don't see her order in there. Oh, you get a double red card. There are now more customers with red cards in front of them than there aren't. Nothing is coordinated. Lee is here, but he's not managing. Want to do a board now? We'll do two of those. Two Belgian wipes. Right over here. You gotta do by the bottle, we're not doing by the glass right now. Are we'll you do a bottle. Do it right. Okay. That's two old wines and two chicken. One for you. Yeah. I got Nine this is big. Nine one fifty. Yeah. Tell them to share. Share, I'm not telling them that. You think we should uh send some food out there to get them hungry? How we doing? We're waiting, man. There is not one order rolling in. Okay, I'll get some salt. So three chicken, chicken, yeah. four chicken, two oysters. Two oysters. Yeah. Okay. Four chicken, four two chicken, oysters. two oysters. Thank you. I got another bottle for you. All right. Okay. You're done in this. Yeah. I'm not done yet. Almost. So one POS open tonight. Is there a way we can get that going for the next round so we don't have the Oh, yeah. Backup? Well, it should. It was working this afternoon. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, you have amber? I do have an amber right now, yes. I will be right back. And there's no one behind the bar now. Just me, just behind the bar. So there's only one draft beer system in this place. So if they order draft beer from the other room, they got to come over here, pick it up, go in the crowd back to the other side. Every time you do that, it's a minute. Imagine that you do that 40, 50 times a night. That's 50 minutes of trips that nobody's making money on.
Vasco, né? Okay, and what do we want? Mold wine. The mold wine, okay. And the Cure Royale. The Cure Royale. These are all together? Yeah, all together. So three and one. Is there a food runner? Uh, I haven't seen any food come out yet. Nor have I, that's why I'm asking. Do you get any orders yet? No, sir, we have not. Nothing. Nothing. Did you get those two chicken and, and yes. four chicken and two oysters? Yes. Because they didn't get them in the kitchen. No one's getting food. Who has ordered food and not gotten it yet? So all you have ordered food, how long ago did you order it? Half hour. So you've been waiting for food over a half hour. Any beers, anybody here? I need a light beer and a double IPA. What's that? A light I'm on beer this side right now. Oh. It just said. I'm going to go check on food. Are we not getting tickets? Where are the tickets? We didn't get any. What do you need? I need a bunch of stuff. Oh, oh my gosh. I, they're, they're not getting sent to the working. kitchen? Oh, the restaurant is a cuss tonight. Oh, yeah. Two chickens. Give me a minute and I'll go find out. Is this thing on? You guys better make sure it's plugged in. Wait, 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 up top. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It's unplugged. What the God? Rick, none of the orders came up in the kitchen because we're unplugged. Look at this. Who the hell runs a business like this made out of shipping tape and extension cords? It hadn't pulled out in I don't know when. Kristen, take these. Hey, ladies, it's one drink at a time stuff. It's just not going to get you out Come of this. Come on, Kristen. Kristen, just toss some more drinks. It'd be quicker for me to just go to, like, Manhattan and get a drink right now. We're at 17 minute ticket time. 17 minute ticket times. About five minutes behind. Brother, I apologize, but we can't serve this quesadilla. Okay. It's got to go in the trash. No more burnt food. We ain't serving that. We can't do it. I'm sorry, brother. No problem. I need two Guinness. I know. Everyone needs Guinness right now. Back here is getting to be a cluster. Christine, stop freaking serving them. Jimmy and Christine are going at it with each other. Wow, you're freaking annoying right stop now. Stop it. Stop. You're stressing me out. Am I the only one that's getting overloaded here? The losing is cool, and he's up everything back here, and he's really just in the way. So how long have you been waiting for drinks? It's like 10, 15 minutes. So is he in trouble for bringing you here? Uh, not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. It's overwhelming. I'm outside dealing with all those people, and I put drinks up here, but nothing's getting made. So I went back and did it myself. All I knew what I was doing, and I did it. We have a bar that's so tight you can't move behind it. We don't have stations. We don't have systems. We don't have any ability to serve the guests. Brian, we have a first one of the drinks. I'm not sure who ordered them. You know where these go? What does it say in the ticket? Why don't they, they need to travel with the ticket, right? The baskets come out without the check, so you don't know where the food goes. By the time the guest gets it, it's cold and it's too late. We're going 20 minutes on a quesadilla. Yeah. Jimmy's been drinking back here this entire time. Whenever you drink behind the bar, you're putting liability on the bar itself because your own judgment's impaired. You cannot judge what's going on out here. I've been standing here with an empty glass for about 15, 20 minutes and uh, found somebody to help. My brother, you cannot serve that. Come on, brother. You know what to do? Are you sure you know what to do? Are you sure you know what to do, George? No more burnt case of this. That's all I'm asking, brother. The debt toll has raised in the quesadilla graveyard. They're overcooking. We're at about eight quesadillas now in the ground, six feet under. Listen, stop talking. You guys are talking. Shut the Yeah, up. I'm at the register. What else am I going to do? You're slowing the whole thing down. How many times has your husband said A lot. So that's the old Jimmy, still there, right? I made it clear to Jimmy this afternoon that he was to show discipline. Mr. Hero is no hero to me. Listen to me. You say you to either of these bartenders one more time, I will embarrass you a ass. And I'll tell you one thing. You take one drink, I'll fire you in front of everyone. You hear me? You take another drink, I'll fire your ass in front of your brothers. That's the deal. Who the are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Are you going to try our zombie drink, Caparismia? I want that zombie drink. Oh, Check your glassware before you're making these drinks. 30 seconds, let's go. Order in, three orders of oysters. You got some food working? Yes, we do, John. All right, Logan. Let's do this, buddy. Working. Come on, where's the glassware? Set it up, set it up. 
Now you are moving at a snail pace. Okay. Let's go, move. Let's work on making more than one drink at a time. Look, put all the liquor inside one glass and pour them all out at the same time. Let's go, pick up the pace. Who still doesn't have drinks? Yeah. No drinks, no drinks, no drinks. Does anybody have drinks on that side? Karen, at your side of the bar. Let's go, girl. Hey, they put the oranges in the walk-in. The what? Oranges. I couldn't find any. Okay. Ask the expediter. I got to tell you, John and Jamie don't communicate with each other. They don't function as a partner. No. They're two separate guys doing yeah. two separate things. Seems like they gave up. This is a nightmare. How we do with the oysters? I need it garnished. All right, well, you got everything right here. Can John come and help do this? John, 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 John! Can you ring in a little tacos for me, please? Okay. Like okay. One set of tacos. Bring in a zombie and a taco. Bring it back. Dump it. Dump it. What's wrong with it? Tastes like nothing but juice. No. I'm making those table drinks right now. Yeah, but you're not making them if they go in the garbage, Callie. Come on, you gotta make them right. Well, there's no point. Let's go! Come on, I can do this. Seven, six, nine. Transactions, there we go. We're collecting money. Callie, you're smiling. Brian. <laughs> Hustle, hustle, hustle. These tickets are gonna just keep firing. I need a runner. Here we go. I got two orders right here. Knock it out. Got Cook em. the oysters. Get the other shucker, and you guys do it together. This is teamwork right now, guys. Make it look perfect if you want people coming back. What the f I got f rats running under my f feet right now. John, rats. I just had three of them go right under my f feet. Three rats. So they're under here now? Yes. Do you understand what corporate yes. responsibility yes. is? Yes. Do you understand yes. what it is to own a freaking business yes. and you're feeding people? Yes. You can't do this. Ugh. Oh my God. What do you say, Nick? Rats. In a tropical location like Florida, rats are a fact. They live in walls, they live in foundations. You have to use a professional exterminating program or they'll take over your bar. Guys, I can't honestly sell food when you're watching a rat run by, Logan. You're very right. Shut the equipment off. Tonight was not a success. We were almost caught up when the rat went between Chef and Logan and it got shut down. You want a spicy storm? Okay. We also have our kitchen, our plates, and then dip, and our spicy chicken skewers with citrus ball. How you guys doing? You guys doing okay today? Yeah? Okay. You can make uh, two in one drink. Speed, speed, efficiency. Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what I was just thinking. Sam, keep them moving, right? Keep them moving. Yes, sir. Keep building your plates, because as soon as that hot chicken comes off, you're going to go down with it, OK? We mm -hmm. check. How do we check? Do I take it up and look at it? No, we're going to flip. Gonna flip. We'll take a look at it. All right. Let me go check out your chicken. I have a customer complaining that the chicken's not good. Where is it? It's not cooked all the way. Take that. I will go replace it right now for you. I'm so sorry about that. Don't pile them up on each other. There you go. Chicken skewer, not cooked all the way. They don't want anything anymore now. Can I see? Knock up all the way. But this one, the one she was eating off of, it's kind of wet in the middle. Oh, yeah. All right, so we have to leave them on longer. More spicy swarm. Remake over here. Yes, more okay. spicy swarm. Isabella has right now. How's she doing? Isabella's not doing what she's supposed to be doing. She's a little out of too much. I try to correct her. Dini, you got some drinks out, huh? I'm surprised by her. She's already made four drinks versus her one and her one. Dini, you're making four drinks for their one. Keep going, girl. Keep going. Hustle. Keep moving. Let's go. Every one of these employees is on probation. Every one of them are fighting for their jobs tonight. Right now, Nini is making it as a bartender, and really, nobody else is worth a damn. I ordered my drink last. My friends didn't get there, and they ordered it. And who was the bartender? The one shaking right now? Get off at the bar now. Seriously, right now. Guy with them. I don't understand. Why are you sending me home? You sat here. What do you mean? I've been here the Listen, Isabella, I need you to stop talking back. Seriously, right now. I don't understand. Stop talking. What am I getting sent home Listen, for? Listen, Bella, get dressed and go home. It doesn't make any sense. Listen, I need to get dressed and go home. You guys don't make any sense here. It doesn't make any sense. What the f***? They drink so much. What do you mean I drink too much? I only had like two shots. It doesn't make any sense. It's a bad idea. We're not going to solve anything. I don't know what we're going to do. Guys, it's a bad idea. I wear a 
trouble, buddy. what the problem is. I have people coming in, I have them spending money, I have them buying drinks. I, I really don't understand. We got our ass handed to us. What happened in the kitchen? Oh my goodness, it's a mess. They're sending out undercooked chicken. We gotta get somebody in there, quick. Jeez, the bar was a nightmare, huh? Oh my God, John, it's just a mess. They just started fumbling over each other. And Isabella, I, she was just kind of the cancer behind the bar. I'd say, let's go shut it down. But I think the customers shut it down for us. They all freaking left. <laughs> we got some work to do. All right, freedom. How you doing? How's it going? Oh, yeah. Regal apple. Can you try this for me? Yes, of course. Make sure it's going right. Thank oh, you. Okay. Close it up. Oh, we got two chips. Game on. Lemon juice was. Half yeah. uh, totally screwed that one out. You guys just keep costing me money and wasting time. Awesome. Different. Yeah, yeah. How are we doing? I think we're going to be hard pressed to hit our 110 drinks in 55 minutes with this crew. How can I help you? Uh, you know, I'm okay. You're good. Just okay. Stay out of the way. All right, Zach. Straw garnish. It's not my bar, so you got a chip, you got a drink. Right, it's twenty-seven dollars. Boom, free drinks. Boom. Doug gave us this free. What was odd was the guy next to us had to pay. Free drinks, yeah. It might be a good idea if you helped usher some of these people out to the patio. Ladies and gentlemen, we are also serving drinks on the patios. Don't forget about glassware, buddy, and hit the tables, please. Right now. I'm going to put that right back there. <laughs> you got it. Doug, you didn't model. I haven't gotten there yet. Get there first. So how many are you making here, Doug? Making four. So why aren't you doubling up? I would have done two in one glass and two in the other glass. It's hard when you double them up. It might be better for us to make them to order. Doug has an attitude. And he has no reason to. Heads up. And the more I corrected him, the more mistakes he would make. We got dirty ice bin. You gotta get those raspberries out of his ice, otherwise they're going in all of his other cocktails. I'm sharing a well with you, mine's getting burned. You're getting, yours getting burned? Yep. You make me too. Free drinks for you guys. Enjoy them. Greg. Yes, sir. Doug served eight drinks and not collected money. Okay. So what he's doing, it could be quick, he's just not collecting money. So, so he's giving the place away. Right? Right. Doug, you're not collecting money for this. It happens one more time, I will fire you. Do you understand that? You'll okay. never walk in this building again. And you should have seen it. Here we go, ladies. You're welcome. Guys, we have 22 minutes left. Who has not gotten a second drink? Guys, you got 22 minutes. Look at this. You're screwed. You are not going to do this, guys. Greg, do this. You looked at me and said, piece of cake. We can pull this off. Double up on the uh, on your mixes, OK? Yep. Like on your soda, soda, garnish, garnish, straw, straw. There you go. Come on, come on. Come to give me one of those. Thank you, sir. We're down to a minute, 30 seconds. All right, Angie, you got soda, soda, garnish, garnish, straw, straw. Gonna make it the bell, dude. Two straws, and I'm over. There you go, buddy. All right, way to finish strong, dude. Good job. Let's go. Three, two, one, stop. How many of you got drinks that you didn't pay for? How many of you got drinks you did not pay for? From Doug. 
That's not acceptable. What are you going to do about it, Mr. Owner? Sorry, Doug, but you're going to have to go, dude. The good news is you don't have to clean your bar. You can just leave. Good night. Thanks. It's OK. All right. Pain in the ass. I think that it's 100%. I'm just one person. There's an entire team of guys in there slacking off or not doing things appropriately. It is Oh, no, we, go, we don't have a cocktail, sir. We got to come up to the bar and grab it. Are you pouring them at the same time? Yep, no? Yeah, now. OK, so you're off on your line. You're going to have to redo those. Everybody in this room should have a drink within 20 minutes. Let's do it. The line again? Sweet that is. Let's dump them. Let's make them focus. Show me who doesn't have drinks. OK, no. let's go. Rock out, man. Let's go. Move. Angelo, you pour out of the metal, not the glass. So we just dumped the drink down the drain. You see that? This is a stress test. But this is the way it is on a Friday night, right? You yeah. should be able to do this should three be. nights a week. Hey, Angelo, how's the floor doing, though? I'm going to go check on that right yeah, now. You got a whole bar in front of you. All right. They run out of garnish and ice. The lime juice? Uh, I'm not sure. You're the, you're the manager, man. Well, Where's I the lime it, juice? I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. I don't see anybody ringing any money. Have they rang up any money? Hey, Nicola, are you guys ringing up money? I haven't rang any yet. Oh, there's a register over here. I'm going to guess 30% of the drinks crossing the bar, they're not collecting money for. Angelo, do you realize that a lot of the money has not been run through the draft drawer? you got to make sure. Like, this is your bar, man. This is the money. You're right. you got to make sure every single dollar is lit up, OK? These bartenders are not used to being fast. They're forgetting to take the money. They're making drinks, but they're not ringing up transactions. There's no cash accountability. Angelo isn't managing anything. He's not even collecting cash for his own transactions. Angelo's over here. He's not being a bar manager by any means. Really huge mess. And he doesn't know what's going on out here in the crowd. He only knows what's going on in his one little station. I wonder what's going on out in the patio. This patio is a hole. There's no reason to be out here. There's no comfortable seating. There's no fire pits, no warm lighting. And the worst problem is you can see how empty it is from the street. It sucks. Two Mai Tais? Actually, three. Three Mai Tais, OK. We're going back up into the city. We waited for over 30 minutes for a drink in the water. Yeah. Angelo, we need more strawberry slicers down there. Strawberry slices? OK. Where do these go? He's got to these girls. These girls right here? Oh, gosh. Are you guys ringing up money? I'm just asking you. You got to ring up drinks. Don't help him. All right, I won't sign up. I asked Tommy, Tano, and Wayne not to help. But when they see Angelo not taking money and drinks crossing the bar, they can't help themselves. They're jumping in anyway. And candidly, I can't blame them. They're trying to get the money. OK, guys, we're in that situation again where every single staff member's behind the bar. And there's no glasses. Angelo! Angelo! OK, so she's out of glasses, and it's because you haven't been keeping track of what's on out there. I'm going out So now you're at a standstill. you got to do it. Get out there. Oh, uh, yeah, I need limes and uh, extra strawberries. Uh, so you're, like, running out of all altogether. Yeah. Okay. I asked Angelo to make sure this room was covered. He hasn't left the bar once. Nobody has been served. No drinks have been picked up. There's no service on the floor. There are no systems in place whatsoever. Sorry, honey, you said two decories, two my ties? Help put some glasses on the other side. Like, he keeps, like, coming to me, and I'm like, well, what do I get this? I'm like, I, I don't know, you know? And even if you don't know, you got to figure it out. So this is good. Trial by fire, right? But I was going to break his ass. Where's Angelo? We need more lime. Angelo! Angelo! Look at you guys, Wells. She's ran out of almost all of her garnishes. She's run out of triple sec juices and running low on the garnishes. You're about to be at a standstill. You've already gotten to one standstill already. What the f are you going to do? I see Angelo sober. I can't call him a drunk at the moment, but I can still call him a terrible manager. Angelo, I literally just gave you a list of all the things your bartenders needed, and you didn't damn do it. Just take your time and do it right. Come on over. 
Bar wasn't ready, no limes are set up. About 15, 20% of our transactions had no money. Can he lead this business? No. So we got a freaking problem. $200,000 on the line, and you put your money on the wrong guy. He's not gonna succeed like this. And I can't change that in three days. Until you resolve this, I can't help you. Can I? Wow. All right, guys, bar's closed. Time to go. Ready, guys? Let's do this. We got it, girl. Let the fun begin. Ladies and gentlemen, please come inside. Hey. What's up, guys? I went in and had some fun, dang. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm good. A mule. A mule? Okay, and for you? Me too. A mule for you as well? All right. I'm going to do the sweetie pie. I'll do the confetti burger. Confetti burger. I'll also do the burger. I actually have exactly the same thing. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I'm going to do here we go, ladies. Yeah. Why don't you put your stopwatch on for me? I want to see how long it takes you to get a drink, OK? All right. Good Thank you. Too much. Too much? That's half ounce. Okay. Try again. OK, so we got two of you guys on one workstation. That's right. So obviously, Bianca, this doesn't work, correct? Yeah. So you're just going to keep tripping over each other all night long? Yeah. What kind of wings? Garlic parm? Yeah. It's not a fries. Food orders in. I've greeted people, told them to please be patient. Just waiting on drinks. Burger is miles away. Do you find it slightly difficult to cook on this grill considering the lack of heat? Yep. Chuck, nothing works. We have to keep a sheet pan to keep the grill warm. It's like boiling the burger. So half this grill doesn't work? No. This side doesn't even seem hot. It's not. No, and I can't use the flat top because it doesn't keep a temp. That's the only cooking surface you have now. As, yes, yes, and sir. it's not hot enough. It's going to take those burgers, what, 25 Whatever. minutes to cook? They're giant burgers. We're already screwed, and we haven't even started. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Is there something I can get you? Regular plates. we got to be much faster than this. Let's go. Whose order did you just take? Just the two of you? What did you order? Apple sour. Who else wants an apple sour? Anybody else? Want? One, two, make me four. One, two, three, four. Come on, let's move this along here. So what, what does the second fryer not work? No. You have 40 wings fired and eight french fries. So you can't fire the french fries till the wings are cooked. Well, this, this is what I go. The general rule of thumb is you want to have the food out within 15 minutes. We're already at 11 minute ticket times. How long have you been waiting? It's been like 15 minutes. 15 minutes already, the food should be coming out, you would think. Or drinks, at least. At least. Drinks, drinks, yeah. for sure. For sure. At least. We're running way behind. Yes, we are. Do you guys have a service bar or service bar tickets? We don't you just call in. You just call here. in. Yeah. Does anybody at a table have a drink? Yeah. You guys do in the back, don't you? Yes. Are you going to share those with everybody else? <laughs> Nobody else has a drink back there. Come on, Scott. guys. We're never going to get there one at a time. Go, 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 go. Come on, Scott. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. So they can't serve this room. There's only 40 people here. Can you imagine if it was full? Absolutely not. These poor girls are set for failure. Drinks are being delivered here even though they ordered No, the I'm aware. I have eight meals I need made, and I have one apple sour I need made. I was waiting for them to clear their tickets before I told them, because there's no point in telling them mid-drink. But the, the tables are being served out of sequence then. They are. So, so, so think of how frustrated they oh. are. Where are you guys up to? 1840. So I think you owe them an apology. Guys, I'm sorry for this. We're doing our best, but it's it's not good enough. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry again. 70 wings need to be in that one little fryer. How are we doing? So, John, check this out. So, first ticket in, still hasn't gone out. 14 minutes already. Burger's miles away from being cooked. He's going to fire 50 wings, 8 so French fries, 89. 8 orders of tacos in one fryer, because the other fryer does Doesn't not work. work. No, so that's one. it's not even. So it can't happen. It's a, no, it this can't is happen. a joke. Scott needs to see this. I only can do what I can do. Come on, Scott. Yes, sir. I want you to see what's going on back here. This doesn't get to temperature. He can't really cook on it. Half this doesn't work. This side, if you put your hand in front of it, it's not even going to get to a sizzle. So these burgers are going to take a half hour to cook. Think about this. We have no grill. We have no flat top. So we don't have a second yeah. fryer. So Scott, we can't succeed. We can't possibly succeed. And I beat the hell out of him last night, and I should have because the kitchen was dirty. Yeah. Yeah, you but are. tonight, none of this is on him. It's all on you. So yeah. this kitchen is closed down. We're unable to serve food tonight. Okay. I got it. Complete disorganization. 
None of the equipment is working in the kitchen. I can't get any food out at all. I can't get drinks out. This one has got to go. This business has no leadership to lead it. Complete failure, 100%. This is going to be a white flag. Scott? Yes, sir. Listen up, everybody. I don't do this often in Bar Rescue, but I'm doing it tonight. Oh, no. Oh. It's a white towel. It's a white towel. This is one of the worst failures I've ever had as far as a business operation is concerned. So finish your drink and get out of here so I can rip this place apart. Thank you, everybody. Apologize. Guys, I'm really sorry that it happened this way. We failed. We failed in the kitchen, we failed behind the bar. But I know exactly what I need to be doing to help the business really succeed. Good evening, welcome everybody. Welcome to AJ's. Come on in, let's eat. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Thank you. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. Appreciate you, thank you. What would you like to try tonight? The babe wrist is really good. I'll try that. Well, here it goes. We're slammed. Everybody's looking at the menu. Everybody's staring at the bartenders. Now the bartenders need to step up, get the orders in. Let's see what happens. We have a table sitting here, table sitting there that doesn't have any service, so we need to hit those, like, right now. Getting food orders? Uh, not yet. In. I just okay. got the drinks. Get okay. food orders in now. They're waiting in the kitchen. Any orders in there? Uh, I just right sent two you. back, and okay. I know Shannon sent one out. Okay. Yep. Elderberry. Order yes. in. Spritzer's awesome. Order in, man. Yeah, Alex, how we doing? Pretty good so far. Okay, so I noticed you didn't season the side that you dropped on the grill, did you? You didn't, did you? It was force of habit. Let's get this right, right? Yeah, because those are off. the details that'll make Pull a difference. Off. Pull it off. Okay, start okay. over. Let's do it right. We're behind on tables. So what are they supposed to do? I need to ask. Elaine, when you get a food order, what do you do? Do you write it on the ticket? Write it on the ticket, take it to the computer. Over yep. here? Uh, this one? This one doesn't work very well. Okay, so you take it to that one? Yes. And then you send it to the kitchen? Yes. But what is this for then? This is because we're taking drinks out because normally we all do our own drinks. So, so normally you would go out, do your own drink, take, come, come in and make it? drink, and then we take care of our own tables. But since we're doing it how everyone's coming in, Okay, we're trying to figure out another way, and that's where we kind of went today. So I want to understand something. So in the past, each girl would leave the bar, get an order, come back, and make her drinks. That's correct. There's, there was never been a consistent bar. Yeah, you know that's crazy. You know that's crazy. Set it off to your side so your blackened fish is ready and your pulled pork is ready. So we don't drag food. Crazy. Yeah. They still don't have drinks over there? So what happened to that table? Actually, they still don't have drinks? Uh, they're working on them. So how long have you guys been waiting? Half hour? So we're failing. Totally. So guys, totally. we have tables we haven't served in a half hour. Where are our systems? How do we know what's going on here? First in, first out. There needs to be some logic. You guys haven't been served food. You guys haven't been served at all either. I, I, guys, I, I we can't succeed like this. It's a freaking, excuse me. It's a free for all. Your rail is full. Now, who's going to pick this food up, man? The systems out there are just non-existent. There is not one system in place that causes anything to happen. They don't know how to take a food order. They take a drink order, come back 15 minutes later and take the food order. They put them all in at once, and this is what happens. They kill you guys because they don't know how to do it and stage it correctly. It is so disorganized out there. Alex, I hope the food lands in the right place. I have huge respect for police officers and police veterans. Huge respect. So I don't want to scream, I don't want to yell, I don't want to diminish Jerry, I don't want to take his dignity away from him. But if he doesn't step up, he's gonna lose everything. I just told him, and I'm gonna tell him again and again, and I'll get louder each time, Jerry needs to be the enforcer, or he's gonna lose everything. Come on, let's tighten this up. Please get these people food and drinks. Two dashes. Let's do uh, agave. All right, we got to eat. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, okay. That's all right. Ready? Yeah, let me just hold on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get up. Let me get up slow. All right. Uh, uh. Got it? Yeah. I saw this burger cooking on the line, so I know it's not right. And here's the reason why. The top of it is so charred from that burnt up, dirty grill that it's like a hockey puck, this thing. Look at that. Does that look appetizing to you? No. No, a lot of work to do. Patrick. Yes, sir. Can you come out here for a minute? 
Yes, sir. Come with me. This is an edible. Okay. I mean, I even showed it to the, these are your regular customers. They even showed it to them. And I said, do you want to eat this? They said, no, look at that. And if you take a bite in it, it's like biting into a piece of leather almost, because it's been pressed and pressed and pressed and pressed. It doesn't even have the consistency of a burger anymore. Terrible. So guys, I got to get this team trained. I got to get you up to speed to elevate all of this. And I got to make you the enforcer. And we got 24 hours to do it. You in? I'm in. Hell okay. yeah. Let's close this down. I've seen what we need to see. Let's go to work, guys, okay? okay. Shut yes, it sir. down. All right, folks, we're going to shut it down. I'm sorry. Please come back Friday night. Hopefully we'll do better. Hello, everybody. Hi. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, come on in. Come on in. Let's make some drinks. How are you guys doing tonight? Do you guys want anything to yeah. drink? Yeah. No, go ahead. I'm gonna do the chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles? Okay. We should be pouring, we should be shaking. What do you have with vodka? Vodka, that would be this one right here, the tropical parent. We're off and running. So it's three drinks, or three drinks and three, um, three foods. And for you, ma'am? Uh, I'll do the milkman. There we go. This is called what? The Cuban Espresso Martini. Cuban Espresso Martini. Yes. We've got three. We've got three, we got one. He's got three, he's got one. All right, order number three. You know, chicken and waffles and a grilled loop sandwich. You know what that is? A grilled, that's a grilled cheese. Oh, three waters. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. Seems like the floor's got a lot of water. You guys got the good seats, because no one on the floor is getting anything from the bar. Thank you, sir. This is the first ticket. Yeah, just all oh, okay, so let me understand this. You made one full drink, and then to make a second one, you grabbed all of the bottles a second time and made another one on top of the first because one? I went and talked to them before I could finish making the two on top. But if you were making two at a time, yeah. wouldn't you have just doubled up your pork counts in the first place? That's your martini tin. Now you've got cream and everything. Ticket number right here, chicken and waffle ready to go. Server, please, at the bar. And a hot chicken and waffles. Boom, baby. Hot Can chicken grab right it? there? Yep. And here's your grilled loop. You gotta make sure you take both things on the ticket. Right. Grant. Yeah. Where's this one going? That's not mine. It's got your number. I already got, that already went out. Grant, keep moving, please. I don't. What is this number? Here, did you put that in? Is my name on the ticket? No, it's not. It's Grant, but Grant no, hasn't been taking no. orders. Then it was How in the mother of Jesus? I don't... Okay, that's Grant. Can we figure this... What? Your food's out. No solution in sight. Question, did you guys have burgers? No. Uh, I know you guys didn't have it. You're killing me here. Help. hell. All right, tell me, what's going ticket, on? This ticket's still sitting here. Yes, it's still sitting here. I've never seen a more messed up ticket system. And now he comes in here with this machine to drop a ticket. This is the most ridiculous thing in the world. This, yes. And will that possibly come up there? No, it comes up here. And let me just tell you, tell you this real quick. This cat right here has done 18 tickets. 18 tickets. There's five of you out there, and you can't get the food to the table. And this cat is rocking the food out. Well, it's I know. frustrating, isn't it? Yeah. Frustrating. It's three burgers. I need to know where the burgers go. I don't remember bringing up three burgers. I remember three burgers, four chicken and waffles, all of it over here. Do we know where this food's going? I really don't know. All right. Mmm. <sighs> There's something you haven't heard in a while, a bell and hot food. Runner, this is that last bird. You know what, take that, I, you just keep, I know you want to sell that one. Go ahead. Right? Yeah? Yeah, keep being an ass. Wait, you can't walk, you just can't walk, what's wrong? Trying to make me look stupid. You can't ask because you don't know where the table number is. No, the way you acting. Oh, it's because you actually it? have proper running management back here, and that bothers you. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I saw you cook. You can say all you want to say. Yeah, you can say I've been not, in your situation. Exactly. I'm I not, have been in your situation so, before. I'm here to help you. I'm not here exactly. to be a dick. Tell me where it's going. You're going to get what I'm trying to tell you. I where don't know. So okay, then leave it. Then leave it. Okay, chill. You chill. Okay. 
Well, we're running 25-minute ticket times, and the food still isn't out. They're running around insanely trying to figure out where the food goes. Tim has put up 18 tickets, and half of them didn't make it to the table. This is a complete failure. It's just mistake after mistake. This is just a complete disaster. I'm going to call this, Ryan. We're done. Dan, I want you to please tell everybody we're closing it down. Apologize, tell them we're closing, and ask them to come back in two nights. Thank you guys so much for coming. Hey, guys, thanks for waiting. Please come on in. Woo-hoo! Woo! Hi! Thank you for coming. Thanks, big guy. We have three drinks tonight, the Candy Mule, the Lime Ricky, and the Paloma Popsicle. Hey, guys, how's it going? Pretzel? I would like a pretzel, baby. Yeah, I'll do the wings, though. The wings? Yeah. OK. The Candy Mule? You got it. Bill's wife, Nancy, is here. It's her house that's on the line. It's her parents' 300,000 that's on the line. I have him doing everything tonight on purpose. I am forcing him to get involved, to okay. learn this. It'll be good for him. I'm fighting for your parents. I'm fighting for you. We're going to kick him into shape, OK? Thank you so much. OK. I really appreciate it. Um, great food, tequila. Great food, tequila. Great food, tequila. Coming in, new ticket. One pretzel, two wing all day. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's stay ahead of this. So we're cooking those raw, right? Yeah. At this point, what are those going to take? 11, 12 minutes to cook? Yeah. Yep. Nobody's working either side of the bar here. Runners, come on, guys. Bill, talk to me, Bill. Four guys down there want to order food on the end there. Okay. Somebody distribute your team. Send them someplace. Work Thank it. You. Stay on it. If they fall behind in the first 10 minutes, it's so hard for them to catch up the next half hour. It really all comes down to this. Will you take orders on that side of the bar? Yeah. And I've got this side. OK. For sake, let's go, Bill. Can you give me anything over there? Can you give me a tuna soup? No, I'm working on it. Make them quick. Man looks thirsty over there. Why aren't these on? Yell for Bill. Yell for Bill. 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 Not working. It's going. People are thirsty. There we go. There we go. There you go. There you go. You okay? So far. How many are you making? Uh, still on my first. First drink just came first off drink the bucket. So it took us like seven minutes to get the first one out. Right. Now nobody has a drink on our whole side. Nobody. Dump this out, do it again. What did it need on top? Soda. 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 Who still doesn't have drinks? Come on, guys, are we any better than we were 10 minutes ago? Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Holy shit. Bartenders can't pour. They can't make a cocktail. <gasps> Jesus Christ. We need to dig ourselves out of a hole. You're going to be able to give me any wings anytime soon? You have 14 wings, nine pretzels. I'm doing what I can. Oh, that not work out. Hold on. What is this? What is this? It's these. The what speed do you mean? Force. Is this a measured pour? If you measure it off of a time count. It's but not the pour that's I'm... wrong. It's you that's wrong. If that's the way you want to look at it? it Come on, should. we can't do this. You can't. Come on. We don't put strainers in glasses. We don't do it this way. Chef, you just burn your <laughs> wings. Bill. Bill, I need you one second. I'm sorry. That's OK. Look at those wings. Can you serve them? No, I cannot. Throw them all out. Start over again. All right, let's talk, guys. How much longer will you wait for drinks? If you'll wait 10 minutes more, raise your hand. I want Bill to see. How about 20 minutes more? How about a half hour more? Did we fail tonight? We can't get food out of the kitchen. We took all the chicken wings that they made for you guys. They burned them all. We threw them out, started over again. We can't get drinks out of the bar. You have no chance of being happy when you leave here. Come back in two nights, because this bar is shut the hell down. Oh, 
Oh, this is not good. Yep, nothing but. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm so scared. Let's get them right now. Let's go. I think what we're we gonna get you guys though. It's gonna be a mint and a aloha. A mint and aloha. Cool, perfect. Thanks. Thanks. Sean, hustle. Get the orders in. Let's move. Has it got to you yet? Uh, not yet. Here, what you got? Uh, I just want to go ahead and get the aloha and uh, lime. Absolutely. Look at all these people. You got to move a lot quicker than this. So watch both sides. Okay. Who's more aggressive? Who's doing a better job? Who's moving more product? Sure. Who do you trust your money with, in essence, most? Yes, sir. Okay, buddy. Thank you. What can we get you guys? I want the shrimp tacos. Okay. So we need three shrimp. Okay, shit. Three, six, seven, eight, nine shrimp tacos. Did you just top that with prickly pear? Yeah, I have to dump. Start that drink over. <laughs> so close. Yet yeah, so, so far. Things are crazy right now. Everyone's really backed up on tickets. There's a ton of guests that don't have drinks in their hands. But the thing is, I see Kenny coming behind the bar, and he's actually making drinks right now, but I haven't seen Sean Holmes. Everybody in the bar here just about has drinks, right? What about this side? Who doesn't have drinks on this side? OK, you guys got to catch up. Where's Sean? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or all you guys are going to start coming over here. Yeah. Guys, we've got to get this food out. It's just dying. But you're at 26 minutes on that ticket. Vic, has management stepped in to even check on you? No, sir. Nobody. Not one person back here yet. Is it always this hard to get food out of the kitchen? To get them out? Yeah. You know, I had high hopes for these guys, but it's just a complete and utter mess right now. We're trying to cook good food back here, and we need to make sure the food gets out. Kenny's obviously back here in the trenches making drinks with them. Sean is taking orders. He went from table to table, right? He should have brought that order in. Then he goes to the bar with 30 drinks at once and slams the them. Yeah. The problem with Sean is he's now taken orders from four tables in a row. He hasn't brought one of them to the bar. So as he's going to the second table, the third table, the fourth table, the first table still waiting for their drinks. Now he's going to go to the bar and slam them with 30 drinks at once. There's one more ticket for you. He hasn't touched a single ticket yet. Got to start making more than one drink at a time. Nobody's going to get a drink if you're just making one at a time. Oh, what the is Sean? It's not pretty stressful. Sean, tell me I got your back. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. But and disappeared on me. And two shrimp tacos. And two shrimp tacos. He's still taking orders. Has he put any of them in? No. Nobody on that side got their first drinks. And that's been 30 minutes at least. Sean. One sec. Yes, sir. How many drink orders did you just take? I took, uh, I've got 10 of them right now. 10 tables worth. Now you're going to hit the bar with 16 drinks all at once. You're not sequencing this. Now they're screwed, aren't they? So you're all screwed. Good job, Sean. Good job, buddy. Brick. Oh, asshole. He's putting them all into the POS system now. Yeah. They're all going to print up at once, and they'll never be able to do this. Absolutely not. So this failure isn't because of the bartenders. Strictly because of? Poor management. Uh, oh, one second. What are you making? The Aloha Limes. OK. This is the drink you made today. Um, How many are you making right now? I'm making three of them. So then you need three mixing glasses. Let me grab Pour it over and mix it. Right here. OK. No, you start with the drink, you ice it afterwards. Oh. Uh, on that. So three quarter lime. Three quarter lime. This one? Is that this one? Yeah, so down the line. Mr. Tapper, I've seen enough of it. He has no clue what he's doing. And I'm grateful that you came out here and brought all this tight for me. So you're at that point. I'm at that point. Okay, it, I got it. It needs to be done. Sean, Sean, we gotta, we gotta talk. Huh? Sean was just called out from behind the bar. Now he's gone. I'm not really sure what happened, but honestly, he wasn't helping anyway, so good riddance. Oh, come on. Sean, as much as, man, I wanted this to work, Sean, you have no clue what you're doing here, man. It's obvious. I'm not a bartender, no. Sean, but you're not even a manager, man. It's, it's That's not true. That's absolutely Sean, over $100,000 this year in the hole. And I know that's not all on you, but you're the guy driving the ship. And you know, it's, 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 I don't have confidence in you, man. I'm sorry, man, it's done, we're, we're done, it's over. This is bullshit. Sean, I'm no, done. this is bullshit. You just me. 
this is bullshit. Kenny? Yes, sir. Listen to me, we've seen what we need to see, correct? Absolutely. We see where our problems are? We've eradicated our management issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's close this down. I want to start remodeling this place, okay? Yes, sir. All right, you guys, I'm sorry that we couldn't get you guys some drinks. We're going to be shutting the bar down now, but we would love for you guys to come back and be a part of this on Saturday when we reopen up with a brand new bar. Yeah. All right? Thank you, guys. Welcome, everybody. So 66. How's it going? Good, good. Hi. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour? Yes. Where's your uh, sweet and sour sauce? I got it going already. There you go, chef. Out, up and smile. There you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Does it feel good to be back? It does. Try to sell food for the guys, okay? All right. Stay with me. How we doing? Come on, guys, we gotta move faster. How many are you making? No one at a time. Three at once. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. I'm actually surprised. Mike's attitude is great. He is smiling and welcoming everybody to be here. He's a new man. The bartenders have fallen behind. The staff needs to step up. Long time no see. That was a good one. Slow down, because if you hit that glass one more time, it's gonna shatter. Taco egg rolls, okay? All right, I'll have that right out to you. Thank you. Okay, who's getting the food orders in? Well, we're gonna bring them in, but I gotta run them down. So there's okay. no printer, there's no system. There's to send no printer down, down there, no. There is not. Okay, well let's get them down as soon as we can. Okay. Great job. Great job. I find it interesting. You can't electronically send an order to the kitchen. There's no printer. So Jay is writing it on a blank piece of paper. Every time we put a food order in, they gotta run back and forth. Who wants to sell food if you gotta run down there to get it? Love it. I forgot the ring. You gotta redo it. You didn't find out who had those, though, did you? They're for somebody who already got them. I don't know why this ticket's twice. How we doing? Talk to no, me, Mike. What do you think? It's yeah, coming it. up quick, right? Well, it is. Now, if we can just get it to the people. What did you have here? We didn't order any food. You didn't have any food. Just waiting for the drinks. Buddy. Waiting on the drinks still? Ah, dang, man. What tables still haven't been served? <laughs> One table, two tables, three, four. Five groups, right? One, two, three, four, five. That's the deal. When there's no more left, I close this place and done. nobody gets a drink. So let's get going and serve everyone. Come on. All right, yes. Shake loud and proud for everyone to see. Oops, sorry. There's a table on this. Who put, who put it in without a table? Where does it go? Question. Yes, sir. Have you been doing this for 20 years to be a waiter? No, I haven't. So you're so involved in this, you're not managing anything. I understand that. Your ops manager, what do you want to do? What about Daphne? Daph, Daphne, communicate with everyone. Please, when you see a problem, solve it. No one's chicken wings. Hangled, Here you go. <laughs> Have you gotten your food yet? Yeah, look, look at this compared. Like, this one's cooked all the way compared to that one. Let me take, don't eat, let, me, let me take that downstairs. It is questionable. Hold on. We're selling raw chicken. Look at that. Yes, sir. Let's fix that. Guys, if there's anything we can't do, it's serve raw chicken, right? Yes, sir. We right. 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 overdo it a little than under. All right. You got it. We also ordered, like, two different chicken wings and then uh, meatballs. And, then and you never got it. They didn't get the meatballs. And they charged you for it. Come on, guys. Mike, Jay. Nobody's managing anything. So, raw chicken. No drinks or food. Incomplete check. I have one more freaking pin. So what do I do, Jay? Jay, are we ever gonna catch up? I don't know right now. Game over. Gutter ball. End of game. You guys agree? This bar is shut down. Come back in two nights. This is crazy. We can't serve people over there. We can't make it right. You agree? I agree. What do you want to tell everybody? Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it from my heart. Come back and we'll make it right. Yeah! Okay? Good night. Hey, guys. Everybody, welcome to the Grant Bar. Come on inside. Hi, how's it going? Hi. We've got a great 
Bedford Hard Seltzer, a coffee in Manhattan, and a cucumber gimlet. Watch where you're touching. Did you just see what you did? Start that one over. Food tonight? You want to do the meatball? Yeah, I think you guys will like that. What can I get you we to want, drink? One of everything. One of everything? Okay, hold on. I don't know. I gotta. Let me look. I gotta type it in real quick. I'm so sorry. So we got the grapefruit, hard seltzer, uh, cucumber and gimlet. Count, count out loud. Three, four, out five, loud. six. Oh. Move intentionally. Don't touch the top of the glass. Right. Start that one over. You're wasting your time. You're wasting the guest's time. You're right. focused. <laughs> Things are moving nice and quickly, aren't they? <laughs> Did they take your order? Yeah. Has anybody looked at you, smiled at you, welcomed you, any of those things? Inside the door. What's going on? Um, they look like they're the same ticket. They look like they're, they're well, the exactly the same. Where's DJ? DJ! Yes, sir. Help him. Keep an eye on your bar. Yes, sir. All the orders coming in doesn't help if you can't get them out of here, right? Yes, sir. Try to balance this. Anybody can wait tables, right? Right, I was just trying to... Okay, so have somebody else wait tables. You make it happen here. I asked DJ to focus on production. Rookie managers go to the easiest spot in the room. An experienced manager would know to jump in the middle of it, which is production. Rather than doing the hard work, he took the easy route. Can you find these? These are hers. They're, they go over there, they're on that table. So you're sending an employee Sorry. out without knowing where she's going. Right. I mean, come on, DJ, tell her where she's going. Why do you know? It's table three. Where is that? One, two, three, it's the third table. You're so disorganized, you can't do anything, can you? It's total chaos. More than half the room has nothing right now. Complete chaos. There's about 100 people in here right now. It's crazy, nobody has any drinks. I'm really not happy right now. Do you not know how to stir a drink? And now look where you're those glasses. Are you kidding me right now? Start those drinks over. What a waste of time. What are you no, doing? No, no, what we are you got doing? The... Over here. Oh, sorry. Dude, it's just we're melting cheese. How are we doing? You know, honestly, we're not doing anything. So how long does it take for the cheese to melt? Six, seven minutes, easily. Do we have all the orders in? Yeah, how many we orders have like did we get? five tickets. You have six tickets. And what kind of ticket time? First ticket's easily 12 minutes right now. There's six tickets behind. All the food's left. They can't even get it in the oven. It's a category five hurricane in that kitchen. Food is not going out. We can't even fit stuff in the oven. We're at a complete standstill. Tickets are coming in faster than we can produce food, so we're just doomed. No matter how hard they work, they can't succeed. There's nothing they can do. No. Damn. Here. You should have been iced before you started shaking. You need to ice these at the same time. <sighs> Start both of these drinks over. Just dump your drinks down and drain. She wouldn't have wanted them anyway, trust me. After this round, you gotta clean up this mess. I am definitely gonna do that. And this mess. You gotta look at your whole bar. I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm just section. finishing it up. So moving quickly now. I am. I'm you know moving. I'm, I don't wanna mess up. I can't take much more of this. Neither can I. There's no drinks getting out to people. I don't think anyone over there has even gotten an order in. Who doesn't have a drink? <laughs> Taking an order back here. So nobody has anything here. Nobody has anything there. Nobody has anything on the other side. We will never dig out of this. Never. Bring DJ. Go ahead, DJ. Take a break. 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 Where's Tammy? Get me Tammy. You've been locked in the kitchen all night. Watch this. Who has not gotten a drink? I want Tammy to see this. Is there anybody in this room who's happy right now with their service? Do you understand the magnitude of this failure? He can't do any of this. Shut this bar down. I'm frustrated with myself because it's just the same mistake over and over and over again. Maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. Hey, hey, no, I'm trying. Cry. Do not cry. There's no reason. This is really hard. Like John said, we screwed up bad, but I know you're a good bartender. I know I'm a good bartender. I know Tommy's an excellent bartender. We'll do good, okay? I promise. Hi. Welcome, welcome. What can I get for you guys? See my size cup cup. Take it. Burger, no tomato. Yep, burger, no tomato. I'm 
How are the drinks, guys? You trying yet? Delicious. Delicious. Love it. Hey, John, okay. Lana, can I throw some drinks in here for you? Ow. Yes, sir. She rocks. Though. She's kicking ass, John. Yeah. She's killing it. Yeah. This girl is dead to rights good. I got no problems with her. Yeah. yeah. So I'm holding You're a great tickets. bartender. Oh, okay. You are. Right out of the gate, Mindy's fast. She's solid. She's a confident bartender. She's sticking to recipes. I see talent in the team. Now I got to see talent from management. What's up, guys? How are you? And any food or anything, guys? Check it out. Now make sure we're getting orders in. Is somebody hitting these tables, Sean? Uh, have to you should know. Where... Yes. Uh, it wasn't done yet. It's still raw. It'll cook pretty quick because you just squished it down. Here, put it together. Say what? That burger's ready. Okay. So listen, as an owner, what's going to happen is there's going to be times where he's going to know something, and you got to kind of just. And this not kinda, cooked. It's still raw. Kind of just stand behind him and it's still raw. Them. That's raw as hell. You cook it. You cook burgers too well done. If you want to sell it, you can go ahead and sell I it. Do. This is just show. All of it, everything. I mean, everything is all a cluster. Everything's disorganized. There's not a team, you know? So it, it makes it really hard to do anything if there's not a team back here. This is because Angela. Burger, no cheese. Baba, no cheese. All right, there you go. Hey, all right, guys. Paloma, Paloma. Three Palomas. Three more Palomas. Six, eight Palomas. That makes it easy. You guys can keep doing it that way. This is like, this is raw. Oh, no. What's it, raw? I'm sorry, what's it? It's raw. It's actually raw. So we didn't even order it rare, but it's actually like raw. Look at this. This is raw. Right from the get-go, I'm seeing problems in the back of the house. The fact of the matter is the front of the house is doing pretty well. Phil managing the kitchen is unraveling while Sean has the bar together. Phil, yeah. Mo, whoa, look at this burger. Uh -huh. I told him it was raw. I told him, uh -huh. I told him several cook. times. It's just raw. Do you know yes, how to cook burgers? Yes, I do. I... Well, who's cooking here? If this is Mo's grill, then back him up. All right. We f***ed up. You don't know what time the burger's gone on, when it's been flipped. One guy has to do this. Sean, are you managing a bartender? I'm heading to the kitchen right now. Because we have some serious yes, crises. People aren't yep. served. Some people are half served. Food yep. is coming out yep, raw. Yep, yep. Take you control. All right, where are we at? What are we behind on? Talk to me, guys. What's going on here? Man, I mean, I can't really call it a fry. This doesn't even look like it's been fried. It just looks like a potato. Whatever burger. A burger? A tomato? Oh, man. Now you know why I'm here, guys. I'll make sure you get your money back. We should be this. Tickets are taking us down. This so, guys, we're not even traveling at 20 miles an hour. None of us are So, come on. If One we can't deal it. with five tickets, what the hell are we doing here? One That's of my the tables, question. their burger is not cooked all oh, the way through. Shit. Another raw hamburger. Come on. Come on. Phil is standing here not knowing what the hell to do. Everybody out there is waiting and waiting and waiting, and nothing happens. Phil, you've got to get how off the grill. How do we not know how to cook a hamburger? Fry. We've been here for 14 freaking years. How does this happen? Come on! Mm, crazy stress? How's that? Crazy stress? Crazy stress? Stress is going crazy stress. Uh, we're, we're in the weeds, and they were undercooking the burgers. I think so far we're doing okay. We haven't been shut down yet. Can, you do, can you do two, two more chicken tacos so I can run food? Go ahead. You're okay with that? Yeah. You're good, right? Uh huh. All right. I'm gonna run food. Excuse me. Sean is stepping up. He's doing well. Where's my two guys? I mean, it is a little bit overwhelming, but for the most part, I found you. It's actually coming out. You even moved on me, and I found you. He's doing good. Yeah, they're uh, seven twenty-five a piece. I'm gonna close this down. Okay. I see our points of failure. Close this down now, okay. guys. It is unfortunately John has made the decision. It is over. Hey. Welcome, come on in. Hi guys, so we're leaving the Marindo, Cadillac, or Bloody Maria tonight. Just those three drinks. Steak fajita. I'll buy the first 10 people whatever you want to eat. He'll take the order. Let's go, get the food order.
Doctors in. Hi! How are you? ¿Cómo están? Bien, bien aquí. Five tickets up on the bar. This entire other side hasn't been served yet. It all comes down to the next 10 minutes. Either they'll dig out of this or they won't. I need 10 tamarind margaritas. Okay, guys, you got a bunch of orders coming in. All right, John, we're on it. We're going to get the start. storm. Let's see. Okay. Yep, and way too sour, too. Do it again. Come on, let's get it right. Two, four, six, eight, ten tickets now here at the service bar. Do this, guys. Come on, this is your service bar. Three tamarins. Four. Other ceviche, other pozole. Come on, guys, we have to be faster than this. Jessica, you got to move quicker. It's going to have gray hair by the time this drink comes across the bar here. We got our first two drinks up on the pass. We've been open almost 20 minutes. How many people have drinks? One, two, three, four. At this rate, we'll be here about seven hours. How we doing? It's got about, we're about 20 deep on tickets, so I'm gonna get wine back here to help. Okay. Wine, they're falling apart in the kitchen. They are? So who's gonna manage this for you? Don't just walk away. Who's got this? Give this to one of them so they manage through it. You got this? I will get this. Okay. okay. Go in the kitchen. Which one you got this one? Which one you working on, Chef? Okay, pongamela. There we go, two hands. There we go. I didn't know you had a second hand. Let's move quicker. Talk to me, Chef, what's going on? So we put out two tickets so far. So what's our ticket time? So it looks like we're at 24 minutes right now. Wow. So yeah, we're a little bit We're 24 minute ticket times. The industry standard is 12 minutes. We thought this menu could be done in 10 minutes. They're not even getting it done in a half hour. John? Oh. One, two, three, four. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys see why I'm here now? Yeah. Yeah. This is crazy. I've never worked a shift where it's as bad. She has no screen at all. It's not. Come on, guys. We have to do better than this. Jessica, you're the worst bartender back here. You can't get this done at all. OK. Come on. We're dying in the weeds with tickets, Jessica. I think with, just with experience and based on how many drinks I make, I'm sure I'll get faster, but it's all new to us today, so I'll get there. We got tickets coming out everywhere, so we're, we're, we're in trouble now. How about some knives and forks over here? You guys gonna eat it with your hands? Oh, guys, how about some roll-ups, some knives, forks, some napkins? Steps of service, guys. <laughs> it looks great. Guys, rest assured. I'm told they're searching for silverware. Oh. Juan, they can't find any silverware. These customers have food. They tell me they're searching for silverware. What the hell is going on here? I mean, we can't get a fork to a freaking customer. Peter, to get some uh, silverware out? Yep. Thank you, sweetie. Still no silverware down there. Vámonos, vámonos. This was sitting just around the corner, filled with freaking silverware. Well done, everybody. Well freaking done. All they have to do is walk nine feet and pick up a freaking fork, which, thank you, he finally did it. How many tickets we got up there, Chef? We got about 20, but I got another. 10 back here. So we're going to start running half hour, 45 minute ticket times. Unfortunately. We'll be in an hour in no time. Now I got 15 freaking tickets here. I can't get drinks out of the bar. Who still doesn't have drinks? You guys want to wait an hour for your food? I've had failures before, but this is one of the worst. I am literally throwing in the white <laughs> towel. Why get out here. Look at this. They can't get drinks out. We can't get the service bar together. You can't get food out of the kitchen. We got 30 freaking tickets back there. Close this bar down. Man, do we have to train. And I got to start with you. Shut it down. Guys, we're going to work on this. We're going to make sure we're staffed up and we're better prepared for next time. My deepest apologies to all of you guys. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.